What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of BKNY Hoops. If you're new to the channel, I'm your host as always, Rasheed White. All right, let's get into it over here. You guys see the title. You see the thumbnail over there. It says, uh, breaking news from Adrian Wolsonowski there that the Nets are prepared to hire Kings uh, Jordy Fernandez as uh, the next head coach. And this one really is like a head scratcher to me right here. I thought he would go for the, I guess, the safest hire. That was the title of the last show over there man and um uh, i don't know i guess a lot of teams were actually biting for his services right there man so uh let me get into this article right here and let's see what they actually have to say about it they're gonna wait to i guess after the playoffs to officially announce this over here man so um so i don't know maybe things may change but it looks like over here, and if Adrian, um, if if it comes from Wojnarowski, <laughs> I guess this is actually true. Now I don't know, man. Sean Marks, uh, this is a, this is you know it's a serious gamble for him. I mean, this actually has to work for him. I mean, he's been through so many different coaches over here, um, but it look you know it says that he's been. Um, he, you know, according to the, you know, to like the, the, you know, analysts in the NBA over there, he's actually really, you know, the top assistant coach in the NBA right there. Let me throw the link up here in the description. Uh, anybody wants to chime in on the conversation is more than welcome to actually do so over here. Let me get this link in here. Uh, all right. Hold on. Uh, all right. All right, so anybody want to get on up in here, man, is more than welcome to actually do so. The link is in there. So, um, uh, Terry Stotts is in Milwaukee, uh, Kevin Young, Phoenix, Sam Cassell. I mean, was there actually any better, you know, uh, assistant coaches that, that, uh, What's his name? Could have actually really went for right there. Uh, there was Kenny Atkinson. I mean, that wasn't going to really work out. Um, probably one of the Golden State Warriors assistants, uh, Darren Ehrman, or maybe they can actually probably implement that system over there. Um, but it's it's really hard to actually get players to actually really buy into that. All right, we got we got Jonathan coming on up in here. Jonathan, Jonathan, BK. I heard like, you over there on the breezy man talking trash over there talking some nah, crazy I was, nonsense. I was hoping you come on early so I could get that off. But man, like what what is going on with Sean Marks, man? I just I, uh, I you don't you don't like this move over here, right? No, nah, but BK, listen, you and I and so many other people, we were drawing up the play here for this team. Listen, you get Mike Boonholzer, you get Mitchell in the summer, you build for 2024, you go to the tour of a regular star depth. Like that was the plan. Now it's like, whoa, okay, so we're not gonna do that. We're pivoting to another guy who's another rookie in a sense because this is his first head coaching job and it's like okay uh, you want to roll the dice again but now here's the thing how are we going to sell any top talent on a guy that's in his first season as a coach like i don't know if that was what mitchell wants or what anybody wants like this is again another questionable decision by sean marks i mean this was the easiest coaching decision layup a, a gm should make and he fumbled it he fumbled it man well, he does. I mean, he did beat the Team USA team uh, when he was with Canada for that. Uh, I think they got the bronze medal or something like that. Uh, right, forgot. right. But, BK, this is ballsy, man. I mean, Mike Bunos has a 60% winning percentage, man. Like, that, like, that's rare to ever even turn down a coach like that. And the fact is they have an actual friendship that goes back years. And what they people are telling me on Breezy's podcast, it was like, oh, apparently Mike Boonholzer wanted a 10-year contract. He wanted his own way of doing things. But I'm also like, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, that, listen, he's a proven co – listen, if you get yeah. Phil Jackson over here, right, and I, I would mm -hmm. say more in his younger years, I mean, you're going to give him full autonomy. I mean, this is a no-brainer right here. Seriously, it should have been. And and the thing is, so, so much, you don't want to placate to a coach that actually can help you win games. It's like – John Marks, for the last eight years, we haven't had an actual an actual coach, and this was the time to do it. Now it's, like, going on year eight. I just can't believe you fumbled. Yeah, before like, you came on here, I'm just thinking, I'm like, is this, like, we've seen this, this this story before over here, man. Yeah. Um, listen, from what I've heard and the little information about this guy, Jordy, is that he's definitely a defensive-minded coach. I But it was two, but he's also one at international level. He's from Spain. He's got – a deep background, but at the same time, it's also like, okay, so 
what is our direction, Sean? Do you want to go after Mitchell this summer? Because more than likely, he's going to not sign that extension. He's going to be on the trade block. And do you want him to – is he going to want to come here and play for a guy who's inexperienced, in a sense? Like, that's the big thing. Like, Sean has to actually answer questions on why he made this move, why he didn't want Bud, who was an obvious choice, and tell us what is the direction. Because this feels like flip-flopping. We went from – we're not going to do. We didn't do a rebuild. We're not doing a long-term rebuild. We already did two trade packages, and now, oh, Mike Bruno's on the table. We're going to contend again. That's the route that you want to go if you don't do a rebuild. Now it's like we're back in a middle-tier purgatory. Like this flip-flopping crap has to end, man. It really does. Well, I mean, all right. So he was the best assistant coach in the NBA over here, man. I mean, right, for like right. a lot of NBA. So it may it may not be that bad of a hire. I mean, it's just a question mark because we never really seen him in terms of a head coaching position, but I mean, right. in terms of like the best head, I mean, Terry Stotts, he should be really kind of uh, put to the bottom of the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. bottom of the barrel right there, man. But uh, he was the actual best assistant coach in the NBA. And uh, there was other teams that were actually looking at him, you know, like I forgot the other team. Toronto was looking at him. Right. So, right. what does that actually does that change your mind? Well, I mean, it's not like he, you know he was he wasn't like the only coach that other teams were looking at. I, it's it's good to always be wanted by different teams. That's for sure. It's just I'm looking at what this team needs right now because here's the thing: Claxton's comments today really opened up people's eyes, which we should have expected because he said, "We'll see. It's a business. At the end of the day, I'm gonna do what's best for me. I'm gonna talk to my family, my agent." But he said that he wanted a coach that's very transparent. It's not afraid to tell him what he needs to hear. And he says his goal next Yeah, season work on your games. offensive game. Right, I mean, right, that's but, what you got to do. Right, right. but he said his goal next season is to win a lot of games and be in the playoffs. If we don't do any changes, like get a Mitchell. But I, he's I a big Jackson problem to that. If he, if he doesn't right. have an offensive bag, and, and he admitted mm -hmm. himself that he doesn't. This is stuff that he actually has to work on. I mean, he's a serious, serious offensive liability out there. So he just oh. needs, to, he needs to look into the mirror right there. You're right. No That's coach true. is gonna fix that. Right, right. But now this, this, but now this puts more uncertainty on whether he wants to stay or not. And and, and honestly, now that we have this, this this young coach, now it's gonna really be like, oh, the four Claxton. Well, listen, I mean, we've seen. It's not like uh, Nick Claxton was missing the whole year. Um, you know, I'm like missing like a big, huge. He played a lot of games, man. I, I mean, he must have played like 65, maybe 70, 65, so 60, 60 something games there. So we've seen a large sample size of Nick Claxton. And guess what? It doesn't translate into winning. You know, not, no, no, he didn't have any impact on the defensive end. He had no impact on the offensive end either. Look at the record. I mean, like I said, I, like I said you, you take a lot of the top centers and you throw them on this team is currently constructed. You know, we're not winning 33 games, man. Right. Well, if we break, if we bring this all the way down to the letter, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's good for Claxton that he was able to have a over uh, a 60% field goal percentage. And that's without an actual point guard because Ben didn't play the whole season. He missed the whole season. And Spencer, he could not throw any lobs to Claxton. So the fact that Claxton actually had a decent field goal percentage when he really didn't have a point guard all season, I got to give him some credit there. The double doubles, that's a huge thing. But here's the thing those double doubles should have translated to at least a play in seed. I will say that. I, I'm surprised that those numbers. All right, we know. All right, so again, all right, we know what his strengths are. I mean, he's a lob threat. And, right. and like, you, and there's only, I mean, get, you know, a lob is not going to be able to get, like, lobs is not going to be able to get you 30 points in a game. I mean, he needs mm -hmm. to be able to actually initiate offense for himself, just like the other centers around the NBA can. Right, and well, top well, centers, as I say, yeah, not every right. center can do it, but you know, right, you see right. the uh, um, um, the Bam out of Biles, the Shanguns, the Porzingis, and and the uh, you know, this is how this is who we got to really compare, you know, like we comparing centers and you know, who's going to really help us win. We got to look at these other centers, man. You guys say, like, okay, they, they give us this, Claxton doesn't give us this, right? And and here's the thing, he's 25 now, and his defense can only get him so far once you reach that 30 plateau. That's when you got to start making mid-range shots and threes. Like, you can't just do it in practice and not do it in the actual game. Because I told you this in a previous stream, if he doesn't offensively do that in his 30s, he's going to he's gonna enter Dwight Howard territory, man. What happened to Dwight Howard? He's out the league. Like, at the end of the day, Claxton has to eventually do it. And 
I will say this about DJ. I mean, DJ made a valid point. This might not be the system to utilize Claxton to its full ability. Because here's the thing: you need an actual point guard that's going to connect with Claxton on at least 10, 12 points a night. Because Claxton can't do offense by himself. Right? That's what we've seen this season. So J- JP guard. actually makes a great point over here. He says, "Sup, surprised with this hire." All surprised, JP man. I'm I'm very surprised. I I didn't expect to see Jordy getting a job. I literally this was supposed to be a slam dunk. I don't know what Sean Marks game he's trying to play right now, but literally we all pretty much solved this for him. And what did he do? He wanted to go with inexperience again. And now the sell and now we have to and honestly, I don't even know if Mitchell's on the table anymore at this point. Yeah, he's not gonna sign an extension, well, but oh I day, mean, all right. So this this coaching hire says a lot of things. I mean, this is gonna be slower than actually expected. He's not gonna be able to really kind of, you know, get a star this season. And maybe we're looking more for 2025. What, what Probably you think? that's the play 2025. I still think Mitchell's a chance, but the thing is, does Mitchell want to come play with an experienced coach? I mean, does this coach actually know Mitchell's game? Does he going to trust Mitchell? Because what everybody's saying is like, oh, Cam Thomas going to get the keys to the city. But here's the thing, though. He's extension eligible, but we've heard nothing about him getting extension. At the end of the day, as, as great of a score as he is, as great of a future, and he's definitely going to have a great future this week, does Sean Mark see him as the number one guy? I don't yeah, I'm going to do a couple it. of videos out there. It. Now they're saying Dame is unhappy it. now. Mm-hmm. Stephen A. Smith is saying Dame is unhappy. Does, does Brooklyn actually look to go to probably get Dame now? Uh, but you, you would nah. need like uh, – with you Dame, get, you need a championship roster nah. ready to go. I mean, you know, what, you know what? We can't get Dame because once 2025 comes around, he's gonna get he's gonna get a 60 million bonus. Man, that will kill our cap situation. So there's no chance of doing that, man. And plus, yeah. he's an older player right now. I think the Bucks are facing the inevitable. They're gonna break that whole damn thing up. Did you hear that the Pistons are trying to get their Bucks president to come? Be the head of yeah. their department. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. one. If that happens, Giannis, if they get a first round exit, it's either this season or next season, he's out. He wants to go win chips or somewhere else. And Lillard, he's going to go back with the. Uh, he should have gotten. You. That's why. I, so that's why I don't understand why he didn't get Budenholzer, man. Because you know he like there's a familiarity there with uh, right. Giannis, and and I mean he's really the big fish that's really out there in terms of this is who I would want. You know, if you're going to get any kind of star here, I would get Giannis. Uh, right. I mean, there's yeah. things he needs to work on in terms of expanding his game so he doesn't really have to, like, you know, be a downhill player 95% of the time because, I mean, that puts a lot of wear and tear. As yeah. you see, he's getting injuries. He was hurt last year in the playoffs. Um, yeah. And now he's injured again with this calf strain now. So right. he needs to actually really start working on some things where he doesn't have to really put so much uh, – oxidative stress on his body right. there. And I'll be honest, I honestly don't think Giannis should play this season, this postseason. Because here's the thing, this is Kevin Durant all over again. He had the calf strain, came back, popped the Achilles first game. Like, you can't do that with Giannis, especially if you're going to do a, a full rebuild in the near future. You need Giannis to be at his highest to get the best value you can, because if he has, if he tears the Achilles, man, you're not going to get equal value back for him that you could have. I mean, yes, he's one of the best as a player in the world, but an injury, no matter who you are, that's going to play a role in what you get back in return. So I think the Bucks should really consider that too. I just think it's inevitable for the Bucks. The Bucks had their chance. They had the last two years to do it. They didn't, and now it's inevitable rebuild. I think Lowe's going to want to go back to Miami. Giannis might go to the West. I just think, you know, that's where they go. And the Celtics too, if they don't win this season, Tatum and Brown are going to be making almost a combined billion dollars in contract salary. That's insane. So maybe you can try away Porzingis then, man. I mean, I think you should have got him. You know, Mark said I actually got him when he was really available. They didn't really give up much to really get Porzingis. I, All I right. Think, so, yeah. oh, okay. Go ahead. I think Zubats, uh, listen, the Clippers, I know Balmer's got a lot of money, might resign, but here's the thing, though. Kawhi Leonard's knee, man, from what I'm hearing these on reports, it's swollen. It's not good. His his career might come to an end sooner than later. I mean, he's only 32, but that knee ain't getting any better. And James Harden's still an unrestricted free agent. If they get bounced in the first round, I don't know if he's going to want to stay for money. And Paul George, he's in trade rumors with the 76ers and the Pacers. So if they break that whole thing up, man, they should try to get Zubats, man. Imagine Zubats on the team, how, how good we'd be. I mean, uh... like, he'd be, he's a traditional big. He's something that... He's still in the prime of his career, man. 
he'd be a really good addition to this team. Like to stay competitive, is that the goal? Like we need a, a real big. I mean, Clowney, he's a power forward. He's going to be a good power forward for us. But I can't always ask the guy to play the center when he still has to bulk up. Like we need an actual center that can. Well, no, you don't need him to like go down there and battle with the other centers. Well, I mean, what you can actually do is make those other centers play some defense, man. Most of these big guys. Don't want to, you know, go out there and close out, close out on the three point line. So just right, right. put them out there just to make the other defense and make these guys work, you know, make their legs work somewhat, and cause matchup issues. I mean, I will put them whoever like you have Jokic out there. I will put them at the actual five. If you have Giannis out there, I will put them at the four just to you know space right. the floor out, man. That's right. the main thing. Right. That's well, all you're pretty- asking him to do really right, right now until right. he does bulk up and provide spacing. Right. Wait, let me answer Carol's questions. Carol, me and him always have our debates here there, but I agree with him on this. Uh, most GMs will get fired after two failed coaching hires, or Marks is going four to five coaches. I mean, I think that's a record, BK. I mean, I think it's approaching a record. I don't know. Yeah, why. that's why I don't, I don't get it, man. I, I mean, but, you know, yeah. listen, it, it but, seems like that Joe Sy really has, loves Sean Marks. He says, World reported that Sean Marks recommended <laughs> Fernandez to Joe Sy. Side and interviewed Fernandez. Like, side knows anything about fucking basketball, man. Now, nah, listen, listen, <laughs> this, this interview with Joe Sai, I thought it was going to give me the Mike Bullenholzer because he said at the end of the day, I want to make a profit. Even if we're having a bad season, we still can make money. But he called Brooklyn the crown jewel of basketball. And when you say a phrase like that, you got to mean that we're a team that's going to contend in the near future. We're going to get stars here that actually want to be here, not to make money, to actually play real basketball. That's what you want to do. But it's confusing. Like, at the end of the day, we just hired another experienced coach. Eight years. We're going on eight years of not having a coach with extensive experience. I know Jock Vaughn coached. Well, all right. So, all right. So when, it come, when it comes to these coaches, I mean, you need players, man. When Jock Vaughn, when you had uh, when you had Ben Simmons and Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, I mean, they won, like, was it 20-something games, 18 out of 20 or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then when you put a trash team around Jock Vaughn, I mean <laughs> – <laughs> you know, so I mean, you can have the best coach in the world. You need players. You're right. And the thing is, we have a roster imbalance right now. We have too many small guys, too many similar guys. I think the wings, all these wings that the Nets acquired, like everybody was like, oh, it's not a bad thing. We can have so much versatility. But the thing is, there's a reason why you don't have too much of the same players on, on contending teams. You need balance. If you have too much of the same guys, it's not going to lead the results you want like it's just not like the nets need to get a center a point guard they need to surround the actual pieces i mean i don't think it's going to be easy to do that this summer because of our cap situation but 2025 you could get a star or two but you got to get depth you need depth. stars ain't going to win it anymore by themselves you need the depth so it says over here that um two days ago sham sharani reported that fernandez son assistant uh, Kevin Young and former Bucks head coach Mike Budenholzer were finalists for the job, but the league sources said then that the Nets had interest in other candidates beyond the coaches Shams identified. But Monday morning, Nick Claxton told reporters at the team, team's exit interviews that he believed the Nets were closer to a choice than people believe. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, it's just confusing to me that this was the route we chose. Like, I understand this guy is an international story but all right so if you're gonna keep all right if you're gonna choose uh an experienced head coach right and, and Fernandez why not just keep Kevin Ali as as head coach why not just make him head coach no nah, you know why because we already did the thing making Jock Vaughn interim to head if we do the repeat thing it's like it's it's not it's another quick fix it's not an actual fix so I, I appreciate that we did the extensive thing but at the same time I thought this was the decision to be made like in June it's what April, like that sped up quickly. Like this just seems like that they want to try to hash out all of our solutions right now. No, you have a whole summer. The season don't start till the end of October. Like if if this was Sean Marks going to do, rush all this? Nah, I, we want nothing to do with that. We want actual implementation of players that are going to help this team get above where they are right now, which is an actual playoff seed. Like this, this can't be doing this through quick stuff. I mean, here's the thing. We got to see if Jordy can earn the respect of this team. Because this team right now, there are a lot of them in flux. Mikel said that he was mentally shut down by what happened this season. He also referenced that Bucks game saying, I was pissed that night when me and Thomas were sat down when the rookies were doing a great job and we could have came back and helped them win the game. But they shut me down after playing one quarter. 
Like that's that's him be mad at the organization. So it's like hey, you just brought in another rookie coach. Is that going to solve? Well, it says over here. All right, his uh, uh, his reputation for relationship built, relationship building, and, and his support system. He's been a trust, a trusted assistant, two time NBA coach of the year, Mike Brown, NBA champion Mike Malone of the Denver Nuggets. Has, has gotten attention of teams looking for head coaches. He's going to be a head coach in the NBA. Malone uh, told ESPN he's a he's a uh, he's a people person who knows the game and has a great ability to communicate as well. I mean, communicate is really one of the key things over here you want to look at. You know, you got, if you can guys, you know, if you can get guys to buy into what, whatever you're actually, you know, trying to sell these guys, then, you know, that's one of the main, main, that's 80% of, of coaching right there. Right. And we're going to see how the summer unfolds. I mean, Dennis Schroeder says that he wants to get these guys together as much as possible. I appreciate the leadership role they've taken with a lot of these guys, but the coach has to get to know all these guys this summer, like get their phone numbers, make sessions to meet them on North Court. Like you got to start building relationships off the bat. This is where it's going to make a break this upcoming season. These guys don't have the relationships. If it's just them going through the motions again, we're screwed. We're screwed before the season even gets through a quarter of the point or halfway. Um, so it's Anthony Parrish's point. Claxton might have been a loop on that, but also Claxton said that his time in Brooklyn has been a whirlwind. It's been chaotic. He's going to do what's best for him. Like, at the end of the day, if the Nets don't make a move for Mitchell, I think Claxton's going to take his himself and go somewhere else. I think he wants an actual big improvement on his team. He wants to be in the playoffs. I just think if the Nets don't make a move and they go with an experience. But he's, not a, he's not a play. He has so many weaknesses in his game, man. I mean, he would get exposed in the playoffs, man. I mean – I, I I mean I can go over there, man, as a head coach, and really just like <laughs> it's not like it's just one or two things he actually has to fix. There's a lot of things he actually has to fix in his game, man. I mean, right. he has a lot of work to do. I mean, you, I, I don't know. Right, but here's the thing, though: there could be a bunch problem between Dayron, Clowney, Claxton, and Simmons. Where, well, we know Ben staying because of his contract. I mean, either Claxton, and Dayron, one of them might be moved. Like that's no thing. Is Dayron got benched at the end of the season because of Clowney on the ride? Well, that's so that's under like, that's under that's under uh, um um Kevin Nolly. This is a new coach now. We actually right, have so he may well, actually have, see him differently. Well, I advocate for Dayron. I think he has the, the biggest growth here besides Thomas. I think he's a great defender. I think he's a great rebounder. I, I mean, so just again, you got to look at the other centers around the NBA, the top centers around the NBA, and then look at Dayron. All right, he's not right, right. a starting center he's in the back- league. He's a backup, but we do need a backup. Is Clowney? He's still a power forward. You can't just make him play a center. Again, role you just, you're just—you're not—you're not building your offense around uh, Nick Clowney. He's a role player, man. You want to—you yep. just want him to go out there. And even like the Detroit Pistons, you look at that team right there. All they need is some spacing. You know, that's all they really need. I harp on this on this channel. Spacing is important. You need spacing. So all you asking Clowney to do is actually uh <laughs> yeah, Anthony right. Parrish, for whatever reason doesn't like you, man. I'm I'm telling you. No, no, me <laughs> Anthony I think you I think he was on the stream now and now. You know that Drake guy? I think that was Parrish. <laughs> I think he was nah, he doesn't him. like you for some weird reason, man. No. I was asking him on Facebook earlier. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. Let's let's listen. He, he likes to debate, man. I like people that want to debate, even if they do that. Ask me, you know, if you if, if I can get you to have a reaction because of me, I must be doing something good. No, no. But to Paris's point, we don't know what Sean Mark's direction is yet. We're still in the teeter tot of, okay, we were going to do a rebuild. Hey, these people want us to do a long rebuild. We, oh, Mike Budenholzer, we're going to get sent. It's we're still in a purgatory of middle tier here, man. Like we need to see. This summer, because Thomas is extension eligible, Claxton, if we resign him or don't resign him, that's going to play a part in where we're going. Like, there's still so many decisions that have to play out. Like, I'm not going to know where this team's direction is. All right, hold on, Jonathan. Let me let let me let SL get in here, man. SL, what's SL. your take on it? What's good, man? Um, what's your Jonathan take on the uh, the whole uh, uh, topic over here? Jonathan is on point, but I'm just gonna uh, what's his name? Add a little more to it, like. Because what happened with KG and Kyrie? What we talked about? Both. Uh, well, what, what, and, what was I saying about him? Now, nah, what what we spoke? About, what 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 conclusion? What we came to? 
that both Sai and Sean Mars couldn't handle KD and Kyrie, right? Yeah. You know, you know why they can't hire the what's his name, the vet coach, or what's his name, coach that will voice his opinions. I think both of them soft. They just can't handle the pressure and whatever they want the yes man, like you've been saying, like John been saying, everyone been saying. So right now, this is this is the issue right now. Right. We, I, I I don't. I'm just frustrated right now. I'm I'm gonna curse I, out a lot. Because no, right. Sean, Sean, yeah. Sean Mark has to go. He mm. just, yo, know, you can't have a pussy as a GM. You just can't. He got to go. You have to have Pat Riley. Or like, yeah, but uh, not, right, so not, everybody, not everybody's Pat Riley. Uh, I mean, Myers, that, that's why not Bob everybody Myers. winning championships. Hold on, hold on. AP, AP, I'm not hating on Claxton. Me hating on Claxton is saying, yo, he looks funny or I don't like his hairstyle. I'm just being real, man. All I'm doing is looking at the top sensors around the NBA, and then I'm comparing the sensors that we actually have. And just that's all you really got to do. This is not hard, man. Just look at the other sensors around the NBA, and then look what Clax gives you. Look what Dayron gives you. They need a lot of work, man. I mean, I like them as role players, but they're not guys that we're going to say, hey, Claxon, we need, we're going to run our offense to you. He's not Joel Embiid. You know, he's nowhere near there. So I'm not, I'm not hating on the guy. I know you like him, and I know the, um, um, the, uh, Sarah Kustox try to pump him up a lot, but I'm just, I just honestly, I got to be real with you guys, man. No, let's listen to SL's point, man. Sean Marks fumbled this big time. We all we all had an understanding where this direction could go if Bullholzer was 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 the coach, man. And just to see that he fumbled it like this, it's like, then why are you telling us that you don't want to rebuild but you want to contend? It's like you're trying to fool the fans. You're trying to buy time. Listen, us fan base, we're not in a buying time. We're in a results era right now. You got to give us results that we can actually discuss that are real. Not that we have to keep making interpretations and you keep twitching us every 10 seconds. That's not going to fly. John Marks is nope. already off to a horrible start, man. And the offseason hasn't even begun yet. He's off to a horrible start. <laughs> like, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yo, the dude said we're going to go star chasing. He didn't trade Mikhail for our picks and Jalen Green. The dude didn't trade DFS to the Cats for the first round pick. Wait, wait, how and am then, I not? He, and wait, 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 and then he goes and hires rookie coach, no, wait, the inexperienced Esso, coach. Essa, what's the Galen? Yeah. How how am I a mouthpiece when I'm criticizing Marks for his horrible decision? Listen, I know his horrible decisions he made these last few years. You know that we could have got Tyrese Maxey in the draft in, in, in like 2020, I think it was. But you know what we did with the pick? We traded for Landry Shamit. Landry Shamit, man. We could have had Tyrese Max and Cam Thomas on this team, and we could have had a rebuild by trading off the big three for a whole bunch of assets. And Sean Marks didn't First do it. First of all, yeah, like, yeah, he should have nah. been fired for waiving that medical report. Once they yeah, saw yeah. Ben's back is fucked up, mm -hmm. and he still made the trade, that that right there, that's an excuse of that's fireball effect. He got to go at that point. Like, right. what, I, I what the excuse? Like? If you're yeah. putting your job on the line, and you missed it, okay. Back your shit and go back with the whatever the fuck you came from. CNN, whatever it is, Phoenix, go back over there. Like, hold on for a second, Esso. Let me hear this real quick. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what. Let me let me hear this guy here. Is this Jordy? BK, I don't think we can hear it. I don't hear the volume. Yeah, I'm just. Nah, but, but like right. to the but like to the point here, it's it's just the direction. Like commit to a direction. We're all to that already. We're flip flopping here, and it's not even off season yet. Like, you got to give the fans of something we can go off here. Because here's the thing. Now these guys want to say rebuild, but Thomas is extension eligible. But there's been no talk of it. Not even a sentence of Thomas extension. They haven't talked about it yet. At the end of the day, I said this to BKSL, 
Sean Marks, I don't think he, listen, as much as people want to see Thomas as a guy, I don't think he's ever going to see Thomas as the guy, unfortunately, just based on how he's been treated. I mean, the coaching staff, they set up Thomas to fail this season, and he, 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 he not, he's, not, I don't know about that. I mean, this, he's a 22, he's 22 years old. <laughs> Even like the top yeah, players but, in the NBA, right, it BK, took him a BK, while. Uh, Right, but BK under JV, they were fluctuating his minutes like crazy. It wasn't until the second half when Vaughn was gone that Thomas' numbers just skyrocketed back to where they were at the beginning of the season before he hurt his ankle against the Clippers. It's like the, co the coaching mm -hmm. staff didn't want mm -hmm. him to see for mm -hmm. some reason, man. And we were like, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll get to that AP in a second. Uh, he said, talk but, about Mikhail but, versus being mentally weak. But, we'll get but to that's that. Why, but that's why to me it feels like, okay, Sean, if Cam Thomas isn't the guy, he should at least be a piece. He doesn't have to be your main guy if you want somebody else in mind, but. If you trade him for a guy that doesn't make sense for this team's future, we lost again. Like this is why it's like it's like trying to play Battleship. Sean Marks is sinking himself <laughs> like ten times already. It's it's insane. So what you think about what you think about? Uh, so what what do you think about Jody over here? He's you know his, his whole speech to this team over here, man. Um, did you hear what he had to say? Man, I. Listen, I already talked about Bridges. I, I want him off the team. That that's all I gotta say. I ain't got nothing to say about. It nice to like say I said, I, I I'm all for moving him. If it depends, if you actually gonna really try to put a roster together that can really compete, then I want Bridges here. If not, then trade him. And they should have made that move for Jalen Green and got those picks. And, you know, I know Jonathan is going to harp on the 2025 draft picks. But, that, but, 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 BK, but BK, that's BK, the BK. everything pick. The 2025 draft is a special draft for well, you're getting, you're All right. You're getting – listen, the Nets are in a position right now to say, oh, I want this, I want that. Neither the Rockets. A, we don't have to give you bridges. And, and Ime, I know he wants bridges. But we're not it's winning, we're not winning with bridges, though. The, Ross, the Rockets actually have a better roster than us. Right, but I mean, they'll the actually though. win more with bridges on our but, team but than the, we would on, on, right, on his team. But here's the thing, though. Say we're willing to throw in a Claxton or Dorian Finney-Smith with bridges. We're adding more to your pot to get you a playoff spot. you got to give us that pick. Like We can add to that to make it happen, but the whole Rockets – well, How Jalen Green like actually helps this team. I'm not saying we're yeah. 25 games better, but at least we'll, we'll, we'll win more games. We'll, we're 10 games better. It, it, it depends. Because eight games, finished, eight, nine games it, better. It, it depends. He had a great stretch, but he finished the season on a dud, man. His numbers regressed back to the norm, which we expected, like I expected. But at the end of the day. Well, I mean, quick. listen, if he's only a, if he's your only really true high percentage one-on-one -on -one player out there and, and the rest of the guys yeah, are they, they don't have they enough scoring do to help on, him on, on, up. You know, on him. That's it. Yeah, but right, but the problem with pairing Thomas and Green is their styles are very similar offensively. Like, if yeah, but Jalen Green is more like, athletic. He puts more pressure I, on the defense. I, I, he can I understand. Finish, I, he can finish in contact. I Same thing with Donovan. Like, That's the problem with Cam Thomas right now. You know, I, I mean, you look at John, you John, 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 listen. Cam Thomas is not going to score hundred points by himself. Hundred twenty points know, the way NBA right now. We're going to need like three, four guys who can put up twenty points. And they shot at least like five, six assists alone. Jalen Green helps that, and he actually like he more confident with the ball. He he see the floor as of right now better than Cam Thomas. And Cam Thomas, well, already seen how he plays with Ben Simmons. He plays real good off the ball too. That's why I get with what's his name. I get all the deep with that listen, other Bridges, than that. Let me. It's an AP point. I mean, okay. it's an AP over here. Bridges is um. Not a like an all star, an all star caliber player, man. He's never really meant to be that. I mean, he's a role player, man. He's a high end role player. He's not. Um, let me think. How you he's can't say he's a, high, he's a high end role player. He's, he's a role player that can get you seventeen I, to twenty points without. I mean, really, without Bridges, I'm really Bridges. gonna quite. I'm really gonna question that because in Phoenix he was what fourth for you. Big yeah, he averaged seventeen eight. as a fourth option. I mean, that's huge. Listen, he was a, he wasn't averaging seventeen come playoff time, and when they saw Bucks, I already told you how Chris Middleton was constantly going at him. He was like, "Yo, give me Bridges, let me put him on isolation well, right a, here." A, and a he was smoking his. There's a size advantage he's, over there, man. Size man, size actually gives you an advantage. I mean, he's bigger I, and stronger I, than Mikael. Listen, I, 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 Tony, Tony Allen was six five. 
he was guarding six, eight, six, nine dudes over there, and he was giving them business, and he was the toughest defender in the league. Okay, can, there's uh, can Tony Allen okay. got a Luke. Oh, hold on, hold on one second, SL. Can Tony Allen got a Luka Donich? I think no, I think no, no, he, no, was, no, he was I'm, I'm he was shutting down I'm, Kobe no, he's too. Not shutting down Luca. He, he can shut down regular he's not shutting down these today today's players. He's not hold stopping hold on. He's hold on. So you he's not stopping hold on. So you say so you saying Kobe saying Tony Allen is one of the greatest defenders of all time and he was You're basically telling me he can shutting down it's he not can, about can shutting shut down for the entire game, it's the periods of the game where you have where you have to limit the certain player, you know he gonna get that he's ball and he's gonna put. Luka, Luka, it's a efficiently much better. Because if Luka taking thirty shots, if Luka take, taking thirty shots and making only eight of them, how is that benefit the team? That I, means he's shouting in the. I, I okay. would say I so, would say I would say this in fairness about Mikhail. This was his first year actually having a true leadership um, role, and the thing is, he failed. Let's let's be obvious. He failed in the leadership because here's the thing: it's that takes time. Wait, I know, you got to wait, well, I know, but wait, but wait, but wait, listen, PK. I know, but listen. At the end of the season, he said, "You know what? I'm going to take the wins and losses for this team. I'm ready to go." At the end of the season, I'm mentally spent. I wasn't focused. I wasn't, you know, in the moment. And at the end of the day, that that's his first real. Shot of leadership, any crash number, but it's a learning experience. I was going to say it's a learning experience for Bruce. The next year, he's going to have to bounce back and show the growth from it. I think that's what people like about Bridges is he may always he may not be perfect at a lot of things, but you know what? He's always willing to come back and work at it. But I will say this: he does need a vacation this summer. He needs to take get away from the game for a bit because being on overload, he, as you saw, his results are really bad towards the end. He needs to get his mind set. John, you're right setting way. yourself for failure. You really think he's gonna do all that? You really think if, he's gonna do all that? Come if if, come they, if they get Mitchell, I think Bridges is gonna get back to his defensive role, and the offense is gonna come to him as an awful shooter. If Mitchell's on his team as the main guy with the ball in his hands, but if not, next season relying on you know who to, to help this team get all the offense going, I think that's gonna be a gamble because if he goes down, then Bridges, Tom is gonna be in the same position they were this season, which is trying to carry offense when they don't know how to do it. So. That, that's and you problem. can't rely on Bridges at all. And right, as of right now, we got only one guy who can put 20 points on hold the on, board. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you JR's, them, let me ask you JR's uh, comment. He said, Drew Holiday is a way better defender than Mikhail will ever be. If, if he's a great defender, Drew, uh, Drew Holiday, I've seen Kyrie Irvin destroy well, him. Well, actually, I've seen Ja Morant bust his ass, actually, man. Actually, so BK, BK, didn't Jimmy Butler oh. destroy Drew Holiday last season in the first yeah, round? That's and, then they traded him, and then they traded him off the team. So I think that's a check. <laughs> nah, Drew, Drew Holiday is, is great uh, help defender. If you all watch the what's-his-name. The game breakdowns and what Kenyon Martin spoke about, Drew Holiday, is one of the better, if not the best. Well, I mean, he's not, I'm not, he's not horrible, as, as but a I guard. Mean to say that he's he's a he's a elite, he's, he's an no, elite no, 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 defender that, at the that's guard that's position. That's so he was elite during that Bucks championship run, and he's been really good this year. But if we look at the playoffs last year, Jimmy Butler sliced and diced Drew Holiday up, and that's without Giannis for half those. Those games, but he sliced and diced a holiday up. Jimmy Butler did so. That he, yeah, he wasn't it, the best it is always. A, in fairness, we got to be in one on one here. Like one no. one on one defenders. I'm not really sure who is like a shutdown defender like that. Most of the time, is a team defense. Because exactly once yeah, the what yeah. what's his name? Once the dudes start breaking down defense and double teams start coming out, there's a pass going on to the corner or the elbow. They shoot threes now and all that other stuff. Like who can guard one on one, and who can anticipate the, who can see the passing lanes, who knows the playbook? Like Drew Holiday is great at that. He right, right. he averaging what like two three steals, right? Well, that's what so, Mikel Bridges I, I mean, needs to work. Mikel needs to actually work on playmaking skills. Well, Mikel like, needs honest. to pack his yeah. bags and go and go to Houston. It Let does, us get yeah, a it, couple like said, it, all, it all depends on the direction that that the Brooklyn Nets are actually. Yeah. And that's the fucking frustration right now. Why in the fucking what's his name hiring the rookie coach who ain't did shit exactly. in the league? 
We exactly. ain't, we ain't even know what he's here. capable of. I, I, I agree, but look, there's other teams. Where was it over here? That a lot of other teams. Well, not a lot, but like other teams really wanted him. He he uh, he was the finalist for the the Phoenix Suns uh, job. Yo, they hired. And, and I'll tell you. And I'll tell you this: if he oh, trades class, if he and I'll tell you this: if he trades class for a second round pick, I'm done. I'm not even gonna like acknowledge Sean Marks after that point. Like you trade, you trade Laxton for. A I'm not. Come on. That's Sean Marks has lower. to go right now. Look. I'm not sure what this side just found himself a good puppet right there. Who, uh, the yes man who constantly will like. I'm I'm not no, even that's, sure that's what he you, does. What he you. does to pleasure side. I'm not really sure. Is he tapping them all for? I'm not sure. Like you, you the saw the interview, right? Joe Sy said, "I want to make a profit." He said, "Even if we're a losing team, I'm still gonna make money." But then he called Brooklyn the crown jewel. Of and sports. that's what's pissing like, me off right now. Like, like I was surprised when we're water. selling out, what's his name, Arena. Like, yeah. I was looking, I was thinking, in New Jersey, we never had the sellout arena. In Brooklyn, I was watching this year, we, we got the what's his name, the first year after KD and Kyrie. And every time I was just checking the attendance, we constantly put more than 16K butts over there. You know, you know what's so, bad. You know what's bad. I kind of do agree with this assessment that the Knicks and Nets have kind of switched roles. Usually about the Knicks, they they're so lucky that they have Madison Square Garden, their most expensive court in the NBA. But here's the thing: they were selling a lot of tickets this last decade and a half, but they weren't winning. Yeah, anymore. we got this now all it's these like corporate the corporate tickets yeah, still going yeah, off. Yeah. Now it's like the Nets are doing that too, but we're not winning anything. So it's like you gotta, like you gotta give the fans more than just a reason to show up and spend money. You gotta give them a reason to want to watch the whole game. This is where we're yeah, at now. But that's the thing with New York. Fans is going to come up and still going to enjoy the basket. Even if it's not Brooklyn, they're going to come see Curry, LeBron, or whoever that is on the, on the court today. Right. So that's the so problem. I read, I read the comments over here. Um, I mean, from Nets Daily, these, these people like, uh, great hire. Thank God it wasn't even Bud. If, even if Jody. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, okay, friend. sure, sure. They're saying that no. right now, but if Bud was hired, they would be like, oh, my gosh, they got a championship coach. When's yeah. Mitchell coming? Like, you know? Like it's easy to hop off the on on it's daily, they banned everyone who what's his name who had different opinion. They like Bob Windrum over there, he runs corporate propaganda over there and he's booming them younger what's his name reporters for to that level too. Did you what they were doing? They they were so they were comparing this guy for uh Fernando to Emil Duku Odoko, and I'm like, what? <laughs> well, they, they said he's a no. Well, the thing is, it's not even two hours old. Not even I mean, two he's not afraid. Old, he's not afraid to actually get into players' faces and tell them what they really need to hear. I mean, is so, he gonna do that to Ben on, Simmons? Is, wait, is he, wait, is he gonna just Ben Simmons yeah. in his face and Ben's just gonna <laughs> fall like a sack of potatoes? Right, like, right, is he gonna right. do that? <laughs> like, well, I mean, what's his name? Doc Rivers tried that, and I, I, you know, it really didn't Doc, work. Doc Rivers, no, this, this was Doc Rivers. Ben, yeah, are you gonna play? Yeah, okay. Yeah, look what happened. Look what happened. What's good, man? <laughs> yeah, we got <laughs> Ivan on the panel. What's good, what's man? On? Yo, yo. Actually, I like I looked up uh, oh, some Ivan. research on Fernandez, man. I already like the cat already, yo. I like the uh, cat already. already. All right, so all right, all right. Everybody, be quiet. Let Ivan let Ivan oh, preach, man. man. Let the, let the audience know why you actually like him. You're based on the research you actually okay, done. Okay, so the uh, research, you know, he he had like uh, experience, you know, being a Sacramento backup coach. Um, he had experience with Canada, Team Canada, and um, just the way he spaced the floor, bro, it's just gonna be you're gonna love it, man. I, I think we're gonna have like a Sacramento ish playing style next year. Just do we, just, do we just have Darren De- Fox and uh, uh, no, no, I don't mean no, I don't mean we're gonna play like them, you know, you know, Sacramento play like the Warriors, like type. Well, let's say we go play five out, which I am excited for finally. And uh, I think I'm just excited, man. Um, we gonna play like like me. You were saying, straight. I think you gonna implement that playing style. I think he's more offense than defense. For what I've seen in the highlights of Team Canada, for a little research out there. So I'm excited, man. I, I'm really excited. He's still a young dude too. So I think we they're just, gonna be able to, um, you know, resonate with him a little bit more too. So I'm yeah, just, but I'm, Ivan, I'm, Ivan, this all comes down to the direction. Sean Moore's gotta stop playing. Oh playing yeah, yeah. Uh, people, uh, well, hold on, before you continue. Uh, hold on, John. Before you. Continue. <clears throat> Woj um tweeted something. He said the core is gonna be Noah Clowney, Cam Thomas, um, uh, Cam Johnson, and Claxton, and what? Mikel Bridges. He, he said like the I think we keeping them. Yeah, Woj just tweeted something on Twitter. 
Okay, Kevin I gotta look Speakman. this up. I'm gonna look this yeah. up, man, for myself. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta see what it's all about. Did you say yeah. Cam Johnson? Yeah, Cam, Cam Johnson was part of the, Yeah, you Cam Johnson. They call, they, 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 they call him Scam yeah. Johnson. That's his nickname, Scam Johnson. Yeah, <laughs> Scam Johnson. Oh, so man. I'm just the only thing I'm looking forward for is his playing style, which I, I think we did too many similar. Well, Kevin only tried to switch it up too, but you're gonna see a different offense that I'm excited for. I'm not saying we're gonna hold be on, no number one. Hold or on, one second, but, one second, Jordy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, wait, well, uh, Wally on Wednesday. Pull up to the panel, man. I want to hear your take on Wally. this. Wally. Yeah, oh, pull up. Sorry. Wally probably got some insight too that you could add to the table, but. She's I'm happy. excited, she's man. Happy with the, uh, she's, pre she's pretty happy. Jordy got the job. There's a bright side here. And, and yep, Ivan is actually correct. So, so hopefully, she'll come yep. on. Let me uh, go ahead, Ivan. Finish up. Oh, yeah. So that's, man, I I'm just excited to have an offensive minded coach. I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm just hyped. Like, finally, because I love offense. Oh, yeah, yeah but if you're missing one thing. You need players, man. All right, you can you could be the best coach in the world. Look at Pop. I mean, Greg Popovich is actually one of the best coaches in NBA history, and look at him right now. Yeah, but still, even when I watch the Spurs play, even though the Spurs have bad records because they don't have like you know the tally or whatever, they still play the right way, the fun way. I think some I, of the time when I watch Josh Vaughn like playing style, bro, it was too predictable. Me, and you always said they never stretched the floor. They always just kept players in a dunker spot. I think that's why you think Wolf like tweeted the Noah Clowney. Cause I think uh, Noah, Noah Clowney gonna be Ivan. big, and, and I think hopefully we can train for you know. Uh, All right, we Ivan, got Wally. Ivan, we got Wally on Wednesday on the Ivan, show. I didn't see that. I check. I'm checking. I don't see Wolf saying that. Yeah, it's on Twitter. Yeah, Wolf tweeted it though. It's on Twitter. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Wally talk, and I'm gonna pull it up. AP. Wally. Hey y'all. Wally. What's up? Hey. I was just about to go to sleep, and then I heard Ivan was cooking. I'm like, okay, I agree with him. I got to hop on real quick. So I'm actually pretty happy about this pickup with Jordy because if you look at – he has a pretty extensive, like, catalog. You know, like, he was – you have the whole FIBA situation. And then with the teams that he's worked with, they're all borderline contenders now, especially, like, if you see how he teamed up with – who's the – Mike Brown. Yes, Mike Brown for the Kings. When you see what they have done for that franchise, and they literally took them out of a years-long drought of losing. If he did that for the Kings, what makes you guys think he can't do that for the Nets? And another thing is, to Ivan's point, I actually did see the tweet, and it's exactly as he said. The core is Noah Clowney, Mikhail, Cam Johnson. Uh, who else is there? Cam, Cam Thomas, Thomas yeah. and Claxton. So basically, yep. that shows to me that they intend right. to pay Clax or whatever. But oh, yeah, word. Jordy right. is a very respected coach around the league or like assistant coach. A lot of stars respect him because they know that like he's one of them ones, you know. So I don't think this is going to put any like, I don't know. It's not going to hinder any of Sean Mark's plans, at least going into the future. Stars respect him. So right now, I think the Nets, they hired Jordy instead of Bud because the team we have now is not a contending team. Bud would be like a win-now move. And the team that we have now, they need restructuring. That's why with the core that they dropped. Mm, the core what? that I got, they dropped. I got questions true. for you, Wally. Yes. Okay, so why, why does past year he said we're not, what's his name, we're not rebuilding? We retooling. One, that's a, because two, that's exactly two. what they plan to do. The thing is, the plan but, is to. But you don't. But you don't hire what's his name rookie coach to be. I mean to be two. Most of the time, you hire somebody with some type of experience, like Barrega. What's his name? But right. Kenny, at least some. But no, well, what, if you're well, giving, well, if exactly rookie, saying is rookie like, coaches, right. rookie coaches, most of the time come to the what's his name rebuilding teams, and that's a small market team. S -S they start from there. From the report, they start from there and they build their reputation up. Like right. let, let's say uh, Mosley, the dude in Orlando, he was on the uh, Carlisle. He got good rep too. He came to what's his name to Orlando, and he started started to build up, right? Right now, everybody seems like, okay, he's a defensive coach too. But we see like it took him a couple of years to get to that point. Right now, if we're going to be star hunting, 
what star was going to come over here and tell and say like, okay, this coach can, I can win with this coach. Uh, this couple of players, I can win with them. We ain't got none of that. Uh, so I agree. Yeah, Wooly, um, Listen, I, I will give Jordy the credit for what he has done, and I'll give him a chance to see what he can bring to this team because obviously he's getting a lot of recommendations. But if we're being honest, based on how we were discussing how we're supposed to do for this team, some of fumbled the ball. Again, this was probably one of the easiest layups a GM could have. And again, he fumbled it. Sean Marks for eight years now has not chosen a coach with extensive experience, I'm talking like years of experience. And the idea of having Bud on this team for this year was to build build for 2025, not to contend right away, to build and, and see if Bud can give these young guys that experience that they need that they weren't getting from Ali, Vaughn, and others. But now it's like we're going with another rookie guy. This is his first rookie head coaching job. And the thing is, are you really going to convince stars that they want to go there? But, but he was telling like, you, it's, Dylan. It's, it's, a hard, it's a lot harder is what I'm trying to say. But more. Dylan was Dylan telling you how much Bud was asking for. He was asking Yeah, but, but Bud was money. getting a lot of recommendations, too, from Jordan Nawara, from Dante DiVincenzo. They were expecting or thinking that he was going to have a huge shot of getting his job. And now Ivan, like, why do you care about the billion man dollars? I mean, if he was going to lose a couple – couple million dollars, it's not going to hurt his no, pocket. SL, SL, you know what Sean Mark showed me? He's Ben Simmons. The, uh, if he was afraid of, of, of Coach Buzz's abrasive side, okay. okay. This is what That's I said from the know. door, Chuck. They, 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 they well, scared of the strong personalities. Like, after that KD and Kyrie stuff, like, Kenny stood up for himself. Mm -hmm. And what they did, they got rid of him. Yeah, what Wally, happened let, after Wally, that? Wally, 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 happened Wally, after let's that. be honest. If you were in the room 10 minutes with Sean Marks, you probably had him shaking his boots, too. <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> given, given how well you break down the game, you probably had to Wiley wants to in the give up future. all our draft picks for Spider, man. I, I can't, like... Yeah. I, well, because if I you do. look at Spider, I, man, just look at his uh, look at what he has and what he brings mm -hmm. to the table versus the... Spider, versus anybody we this, actually have I don't want to sound like Harlem. I don't want to sound like Harlem, but Harlem is right. Spider ain't moving the needle. He's a no, second, no, third no, 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 no. Oh, Hold on. I'm, I'll, I'll get to the film in a second. Hold on. I mean, this is... Oh, like, my God. I'm going to break it down for you, SL. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Let, well, I, I like on. the coach that we picked, man. I saw his well, highlights. I like the coach that we picked. I want to hear what Wally has to say. Can we let Wally Yo, but, uh, Wally, yo Wally, but John, he did it in FIFA, bro. He did it with Star Yeah, but, but listen, that's international. He competed that's with Team USA. Level. He I mean, he beat I, Team USA. I, that's that's the not the NBA. Thing that you can do. We, we talk about NBA level, man. So, it doesn't he say beat exactly. Team USA. That's one of the top okay. players. Wait, you know who's on Team USA? Austin Reeves, man. Austin Reeves is on that team. But Kel Bridges. I mean, it was easy to Kel Bridges is our best player. Wait, wait, wait. Ivan, 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 you forgot there's Halliburton in there, too? Wait, Ivan, Ivan, Ivan Bridges is our best player. If you look at the statistics of that run with US, he was their best player. Look at the statistics. Can, can we he let Wally go? Because I, I don't want her to forget the, the what's his name? Yeah, the I was just, Yeah, I was just waiting for you guys to finish your conversation. Oh, but I also wanted to add that a lot of players do respect Jordy because you have to remember he worked with SGA. He worked with a lot of people in the league. He worked uh -huh. with Jamal Murray. So word gets around. A lot of these stars respect him. So if they want, if the Nets truly wanted to go star chasing, that's a layup right there too. I have to see it to believe it. Hold on, hold on. 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 We say, we seen the same thing being same speech has been spoken about Luke Walton when he was with Golden State and they were spanking but, everybody. Hold on, hold on. With Mike, how, Mike Brown, how, how you know Mike you Brown. Hold on, Mike Brown had a success rate in Sacramento because he reinvented himself. He he was under Steve Kerr and he learned a lot from Steve Kerr. He was coaching. So, Exactly yeah. what I exactly. said. It's uh, okay. It's okay. Oh, well, like, let me add AP's comment. Uh, no, I don't think they're trading Ben Simmons. I don't think so. Unless, I mean, for some hey. weird reason, he actually has like, I mean, he just can't really go anymore. And they'll, they'll but uh, he if he's healthy dead. somewhat, they're not trading him. The guy's like a doorstop, so. man. Um, <laughs> so, 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 chip Mark, so, Wiley, you heard anything about Donovan Mitchell or, like, Brendan Ingram or anything else? Like, because I see, what's his name? 
I've seen we after what's his name Trey Trey Murph, uh not Trey, Trey Young. Yes, yes. Is it, is it? To answer yeah. Wally and Ivan's comment over here about the uh, you know Claxton and these guys. Oh, how serious back. is that? Uh, it's how serious is that, that Trey Brooklyn, Young? Brooklyn is reshaping its team post Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving. And it's hiring Fernandez to reinvigorate a roster that includes Mikael Bridges, Cam Thomas, Nick Claxton, Cameron Johnson, and Noah Clowney. So, uh, Fire, I mean, Fire. it doesn't say exactly that these guys are going yeah, to be yeah, on the you, roster. Do you even contact, care what, contact. what she was reading? reading bad, like, you give a rookie to... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It basically implies that outside of those five, everyone else can go. Because yeah, everybody else is gone. Uh, I like I like I like what I see out of uh, Cam Johnson. I mean, I, I like when he played a couple of games ago. I like the fact that he just wasn't taking like. Okay, BK, BK Johnson's been horrible, man. He he scammed Johnson until he could ball? play. And play. I know, but he's been he's been injured, man. He's been injured. Uh, uh I, I just want to see what off season of rest. Okay, BK, what about those missed three point shots in clutch time, man? That wasn't because of injury. That's because he just couldn't get the job done. Like, All right, I, 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 yeah. get that, I get that. I get yeah, that. And BK, yeah, BK, if you look by the month, like for the season, he's shooting 35%. Uh, 39%. You know, hold on, I want, I want to talk about Booze and Holder, looking, too. I want to talk about Booze and Holder, bro. Like, but you're not, are, so you're saying you, yeah, you're happy about Mikael Bridges coming back over here and, 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 um, yes. I, I like Mikael Bridges for the most part, yeah. even though he has some funky I, I, no, ways. I like, he's still I like, I mean, you see, one, you gotta <laughs> have a certain like roster. If, if he's going to yes. be on a rebuild, you might as well trade him then. I mean, but we've seen what. Go ahead. It's not a rebuild; it's a retool. The only yeah. reason they went after Jordy outside of Bud is because they want you have to put a competitive product on the floor to attract free agents, which is their plan to attract um stars in twenty twenty five. That's a serious so, gamble. I mean, yeah, that's true. But then again, you have to remember, Sean Marsh is on the last year of his contract, so sooner or later, he's gonna want to make a big splash to either retain his job or be let go. Yeah, because it's like it's twenty eight other teams out there that's going to be really trying to. Well, not not say all twenty eight teams are going to get try to look for free agents, but then there's a lot of teams out there that that probably is going to have a better roster than us, and those free agents will be looking well, over there. Wooly, Wooly, do you think? Uh, Co- Coach Fernando's going to want to experiment with having Clowney, Cox, in, in the starting lineup as big men on the team, too, instead of one. Do you think that he would do that route? Because Buzz yeah. is going to do that. I mean, yes, I, I, I'm sorry. Continue. No, it's, it's just I, I just got to see if he's going to do this. We need to do that. Cox has said that the small ball ain't ever going to work anymore. The league is evolving. So, like, if doesn't so hold do on. That, so it's like we're going when, backwards again. I, hold on, Wally. That's I want to I want to just get my opinion. I could be wrong. So when we saw the Woj thing, right, and I saw a couple, I saw FIFA for you know Canada or whatever. So I feel like he is going to implement. He's going to have the Clarkson in there, but he is, is going to implement the five out strategy, which we play small ball with Javon horribly. He does a good job playing, and he gonna do a good job with spacing the floor. Right. When I was watching FIFA, he does a way better job. Basically, a playing style that you see Sacramento do and implement. I feel like we always did a horrible job doing that. Our spacing always sucked. So I yeah, think that's something that we can look forward to for next yeah, year. Yeah, but Ivan, but Ivan, yeah. he does, he won't agree with you. He thinks Claxton doesn't space the floor. So how is Fernando gonna get Claxton to work on that? Because PK, I, th- I think he's gonna find uh. He, I think he gonna find a way to implement that game. I, I really do think okay. he gonna find a way. And Jordy, Jordy, well, how, how how is he gonna do that, I, Ivan? Mm. Uh, let me, gonna I, stay. Oh, you got no, Hoff, I, over here too, man. Hoff yo, Hoff, what's up, man? We gonna see. I think he, he gonna figure it out. No, go, go ahead, Ivan. I ain't gonna cut you off. No, oh, no, no. no right. that, that, JP that, asked. Hold on. JP asked what kind of system that that uh, Jordy would actually would run. I mean, it depends on the players you actually have, man. Oh, uh, AP, yeah, I was about look, to say AP, that too. AP, look at the Canada uh, Canadian game style. He's gonna implement. That's Are why you, Clowney was in there. I'm telling you, Clowney gonna be playing the five sometimes. Playing the small ball. He's gonna be switching that up. Them yeah. guys better go eat first because they was getting pushed around the last couple yeah. games. They better go Papa. eat. These guys are small, my nigga. I don't yeah, care what if what old. offense he implement. If these guys don't get no weight, it's over, y'all. These guys, did you see Josh Hart pushing our players out the way? How big is Josh Hart? How big is yeah, uh, that, how big yeah, is uh, Bronson? Bronson was moving, clowny, move. Josh yeah. Hart is bubble back. He's supposed, he supposed to be our power forward. Come on, y'all. 
We got yeah, yeah, he's two hundred and ten pounds, Noah Clowney. We, we got to get. It's gonna bigger. take years. It's gonna take years to put on. Yeah, muscle. but, but, do but, it but my, one my, my thing, That's my thing. Was, well, I, I agree, hold on, I agree with the size thing, right? I agree, but the thing you guys make, we make up for it with speed. But now I'm saying with the new coach coming in, he gonna put Clowney in his spots, man, to score even more. And, and that's something that, and I, I think that's something that Kevin Ali and I, I do like Kevin Ali was trying to implement that, but we did it, you know, too late. But I think next year, start next year, that's gonna be the main yeah, priority I, for sure. I think um I looked this dude up too. He's a, he got a little good resume. Like give him a chance, y'all. Everybody saying no, no. Yeah, listen. Yeah, bro. Was a dumpster yeah, fire. Hey, bro, I want to tell you, bro. You watched the FIFA, the one of the FIFA. <laughs> yeah, we was a dumpster FIFA fire. Game? We could try anything right now, bro. So like, how, yo, how, I'm how, gonna tell you, bro. Wait, the guy that, that talking, did you watch the FIFA game? After yeah, I, no, I just watched a little clips of him. I wanted to see what he what you, he so did. You saw, you saw he, what, how he, they were facing the floor. Yeah, he he played he played he played like the Kings. Yep, yep, yep. That's the Kings. Yep, that's exactly how they play. So that's how that's gonna be the net. So you gonna see when Clowney or, or Finney Smith because they probably gonna play that sometime to take Clarkson out. But the Finney Smith and Clowney facing the floor so they can still have defense. We gonna see. I'm promise you, we gonna see stuff like that. Can Thomas gonna have more space in the work? Mikel Bridges gonna play off ball even better next year. I think my, be main, good. my main my main concern good. with this good. Georgie guy. My main concern. Is, is he soft spoken or he's like, uh, no, they say he hold people, like, they, they nah. say he hold people accountable. They said he hold people accountable. They say, yeah, he, he, hold people, faces. He, yeah he hold people accountable. He gets the people faces. I saw it's an interview on YouTube. It's just, interview. I heard the same it, thing it, about on, Jack Vaughn, man. He said, no, no, it's, it's, a, you can watch it on YouTube. He literally said about his team, he said, I don't care. About winning, I don't care about losing. I'm Maybe I played, I played the clip. Played he, he was, yeah, he, he, yeah. He, he was like over that. there. He was over there with Mike Brown. Mike Brown don't play that shit. Yeah. So he's, and so you he's know, the, anyway, wait, when wait, he will, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, when he yeah, but Mike see, Brown, this is politically on, correct on, talking, thing, guys. That I gotta see to believe it. That's you, it, that's it. You gotta see. Watch so you gotta let it happen. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The only thing you gotta do as is watch the FIFA games, bro. Look how he sprays the floor. You gonna see? Just watch one game. Are you you watching it right now? Hold on, hold on. Why, why, why Isaac, are we doing Isaac, this? Like great right now. You, you need, need the players. You need players for that, man. You, you need, need the players. players. No, no, I'm not. Wait, bro, but wait, the wait, thing I... is, you didn't listen to what Wally said, bro. It's not about this year. It's about just but starting having a construction, having a playing style that we can build on for the future, 2025 and more. That's yeah, what we're we saying, the, bro. We need the players that we still have. But, that's, 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 but the first it starts. Yeah, it doesn't. But first it starts with the game plan. First it starts with the structure, and then we continue I, from we, there. We know these. Uh, we know these. BK, you saw that Mikel? You saw that Mikel interview? Um, uh, I, 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 I fell did. asleep earlier, man. I was. Yeah. I, I saw, to I saw it. By nine thirty. Yeah. And you hear what he you hear what he's saying? He he was putting it on himself. He said, you know, he, it was uh he, it was a good season. He you know he said he was mentally Hoffa. he was shot. He Hoffa, said it, it mentally was, he was shot. Wait, no way, half a half. It was that Bucks game, man. He, listen, that that Bucks game changed his whole trajectory of the season when the organization forcibly told him you're not playing more than the first quarter, and after that is the end. Nah, I, I, I think it was the whole man. season. I ain't gonna put that one game. It was the whole no, he season. Said, he said he was pissed about it. I mean, he was playing great basketball. Listen, before that game, Mikel was playing great basketball for this game. Yeah. After that, he was playing. Yeah, but he said I think he yo, the guy, the guy that said he never coached before, bro, he coached for FIFA, son. Like, look it up. Like, yo, that's yeah, but, but Ivan, Ivan, we got to see it translate to the NBA level. Carol said he was mentally washed. No, listen, man. listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. If he can actually get the players on the team to buy into his system, let's then, give him a try. I mean, that's like a, exactly that's really my point. Of coaching, How right? bad can we get? We're already yeah, bad yeah, already. And, yo, and another thing, too, hold on. When you say, Jonathan, when you said the tra translate, bro. He got star players to like, not star players. He got professional players. FIFA is just a little bit. It's not a long season. He got them to implement to his playing style. That's impressive. You know how hard that is? No, wait, that's wait, impressive. Wait, wait, let me respond to Hoffa. Listen, I'm willing to give Jordy time to see what he can do with his team. But when I look at what Sean Marks is doing, again, he's fumbling. Like, he has us on a direction of we're not, we're not, we're going to get 10 in the future. We're not going to rebuild. Exactly. We're not going to do a long rebuild. Then it's like, oh, my over. we're going to get 10 again. Now it's like we're in a middle tier purgatory like just commit to a direction tell us where we're going stop trying to get us to guess where this is going because we actually make better game plans than they do but just give us the direction so we can stop speculating like is this enough enough like your job's on the line start giving us the result the direction so we could build actually build. yeah but you yeah i do i do agree but these things take time i do i hope i just hope they do the right things like a lot of us want to see these young players thrive, so that's all I hope he doesn't. No, I want to see these young players eat, bro. They too small, bro. 
<laughs> I'm tired, yo. I'm tired of breaking down video, and I see our players getting pushed. Out. I break down film, y'all. Our players get literally pushed out the way by point guards, bro. Like I know, man. I it's know. fucking hilarious, bro, and a shame, bro. Hustle, I seen, Hustle, I seen Bronson going right into our player's chest and move out the way. You can't have that. Hustle. You, you Hustle. can't have. Yo, that's, 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 that's from, 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 that's from coach from co to what's his name. That's from coach to keep no, players no, accountable. No, like no, if you the, look, if he got what's his name, if no clowny or Claxton got pushed away by what's his name, Josh Hart, then what's his name? Uh, Ali should have called him out and was like, you know what, the small of the point guard just pushed you off. Like if you're not no, going to respond that's, some that's way, that's that's you're going to be sitting right there. And uh, holding uh, the SL, towel. SL, SL, that's a development thing. He has and, to get stronger. And I, I, I know a lot of, has to get stronger. Yeah, and I know a lot of our players are young, they, they but can, no. They can, that wasn't the issue last last year with KD, man. That wasn't the issue KD's like that. KD's 240. That's a grown man. I, I'm, so, I'm no, talking Kevin about Durant's when he played I mean, alongside KD, he, he was still, he had that extra, what's his name? Pushed to him, it was like uh, you're not he gonna muscle me around, not gonna push me. No, nah, he was still getting muscle, though. He was still getting muscle. Yeah, he he be getting muscle too. Because Clowney's 210 and Kevin Durant's 240. We gotta get no, some KD be getting pushed around too, though. KD. We need we need some athleticism, we need some we need size, so big. we need, we need some so voice boy IQ. Right, so for Esther, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play the uh, um, um, Donovan Mitchell. What? Uh, some highlights oh over here, man. Oh, we don't need yeah. to see it. We already see it, bro. It's all about opinions. We already One we still bro. here? She probably yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm falling asleep. I, I don't understand, Wiley. What's the excitement with the spider like that? Like, what what is that because off like? He's a the difference thing maker. Is that he would be the first piece. He's not right. the... Because everyone keeps saying he doesn't move the needle. We know that. I'm pretty right. sure the office knows that, too. If we get Donovan Mitchell this summer, that would make it very easy for the Nets to then go into free agency and sign whoever the hell they want with Ben Simmons off the books. Fact. That means we have two stars on the team to then propel us to where we want to go, exactly. which is contention. Right. That's why I want Donovan Mitchell here. Well, it could be Mitchell or Trey Young, but yeah, I want I Yes. I want to see us compete. But, but this is why I'm so dumbfounded. Why are you bringing the rookie coach then? If you bring in Donovan Mitchell, he would expect somebody like with the experience. Like he wants to but win it's now. Not easy he, to build a that, roster, up, man. They're not going to just get a championship roster in one year. Yeah, but if you give Bud Bud that gig, then what what he's going to no, do? He's going to put everybody in the right coach, position. Bro, that doesn't always know. Hold on, I've got to say it. So, look at Doc Rivers right now. Look at Monty Williams. Yep, exactly. So stop. We gotta stop that, bro. It's not. It's like BK who said it best. BK who, congratulations. You finally said something good. He said they gotta buy in to the coaching, bro. Whatever the whoever the coach is, the players gotta buy in. You gotta believe it's a coach. Hoops is absolutely correct, man. And that's that's all it is, bro. They would have bought all of it pretty is. quickly, man. I think but that is easier to what's style. his name with the championship type coach like Bud than a rookie. All right, Wally, you gonna get some sleep, right? You said you're falling out. Asleep, yeah, she's out. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm Come on the next stream, then. Yeah, get some sleep. Wally, thanks all right, for Wally, all right, Wally. Wally. Bye, you guys. Thanks, Wally. All right. all right, Wally. Yeah, I'm about to head out too, y'all. Yeah. But the only thing I gotta say, even too, Steve Kerr didn't have that much experience, bro, when he hopped in too. Look what he did. So that's all, yeah, man. But, you gotta, yeah, but yeah, look at what happened to him. I mean, all right, let me let Easy E talk. We got Easy E up in here, man. Easy E, what's your whole take on this, man? Yo. Like, all right, easy, got, easy, yo, yo. But here's the thing, right? Like, I don't even got no like, like thought about it, bro. Like, if you really think about it, like, I right, we gotta do a rebuild and we gotta do a reset, bro. So, like, if anything, I'm I don't have no thought about it. I'm just watching what they doing. And if That's I'm what I'm looking doing. At, so, if I'm looking at it from the outside in, like, all right. If you really think about it, they did the right move, bro. Right after the season ended, like they knew who they can they was. Now, I right, they wanted Bud. But Bud asked for shit that they didn't want to give. But they knew they had a second person. 
Went to the de- developmental route. All right, man, give it some time right Easy there, bro. Free, brother. That's nah, it. nah. Yeah. Sean Marks, Sean Marks let Bud scare him. That's what happened, and he and he. We don't know what John. Like, we don't know what Bud X was. Well, yeah, he wasn't Bud X, bro. Jonathan, yeah, yeah. You don't know what Bud X was. I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, th- I don't buy this. But I would ask for too much. I think they scared of the strong personality. Yeah, you know, what's yeah. I'm with in the front so. office. I'm with us. We. Was it in I, the I've office? seen we what assuming, happened to Kenny. We assume, I've seen yeah. what happened to Kenny. And I've seen they didn't back it up. And they, what's right, his name? Right. Deferred okay. to players. And right. Right, right now, every other coach that's been in here, soft-spoken, politically correct speeches, all that other crap. And look what the product we're putting out over there. Right. Okay. And George, and, and, and give give George, me some comp- give me your coach who proved himself, who will be that voice in the locker room, who can get in somebody's face and be talking on that speech and give them the mo- motivated. And, like and they and they chose you're giving the rookie coach. coach. They, no, no, wait, SL, SL, wait, SL, wait, wait, Come SL, on, man. Wait, 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 so they chose they chose Jordy because he's a players coach. But how many players coaches have we had already? Like at least, but exactly. would give us a little something different that actually has. But the problem is, we gotta give philosophy. people time. What's your commitment like, to even, a rebuild now? No, we're yeah. not. There's no direction. We don't know the exact direction. It's exactly my about, problem with this. Give me direction. Man. We've been flip flopping in purgatory right Yo, now. And then, you know, like, even like, Kenny. Actually, actually, hold on, if you hire a first year coach, I'm thinking you're going for a rebuild. Yeah, so hold on, hold on, hold on. My, my and why you kill is still here? Why your first one still here? I said, I said, hold on. You still need some vets though on SL. Yep. Yeah, for our picks, yes, I'm getting rid of him. Give me a Jalen Green and a couple of our picks. And then I'm going to get some couple of what's the fits from the free agency. I got to get over that fucking rocket story, bro. Thank you, yo. That's just the pass. It's over. But you can't rebuild without your own picks, though. That's the problem with this. That's our fault. We should never trade it for Dig Harden. That's our fault. Uh, no. right. See, this right. is we're digging. I, listen to me. I never digging. see. I never seen a team lose two stars and think you're gonna be in the playoffs for next season. That never happened, y'all. So Wait, that's insane, bro. Y'all know. I understand, yeah, bro. bro. We, we lost three industry, superstars. Bro. We was gonna be a dumpster team, bro. Like, come on. Wait, I have a Dang. question. I have a, wait, I have a question. If Nigga, they say wait. Harden is a top five shooting guard. Nine to four to two shot five playoff all time, wait. bro. Wait, like, wait, come guys. on, bro. Wait, wait, guys. I have a question. If Claxton had his choice, do you think he wants to go play? For Fernando, or do you think he wants to go play for Taylor Jenkins? Like he said, he wants a coach that's going to be. He want to go play with Jenkins. He want to go play with somebody that's winning. That's why he don't give a yeah, fuck where you go, know. as long as they winning. You know, a hop, they, hopper, they, they, yo, hopper, hopper, man. You think? I'm, what, what do you think about my Nick Claxton takes? You think I'm off, man? I mean, he, yo, he got to get bigger, bro. Like my, these guys are getting bullied, y'all. I watch tape. I break tape now. These guys are getting pushed out the way, bro. Y'all don't understand. Y'all, I hear y'all all. You feel like no, they not. They are he, too small. But Hoffa, he has to develop that jumper, though. He yes, has to he, develop that You jumper. see that hook shot? How you been in the league? You still got a hook shot like that. <laughs> like, yo, y'all not watching it. Y'all can't just keep watching a good highlight. You got to watch the whole game. I know. That's, what I, I, that's the whole thing. I watched the front. whole two-hour game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you watch, know, yeah. You're talking about Josh Hart getting all these rebounds. How big is Josh Hart? How big is Nick Claxton? Nine, six, this is your center. This is your center. Man, How big is Nick Claxton? How Josh Hart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to me, bro. Listen to me, bro. I think How they is talk. your center? I think... How? Oh, no, no, let him talk. Let him talk. How is your center so... getting out rebound? This is your center job. Oh my gosh! Yeah. And Josh Hart is actually out rebounding him pretty much. Come on, right? bro. You can't have that going. You Josh can't like go. A, what is he like six eight? You can't go a whole third quarter. I watched them go two third quarters out scoring, bro. How can you play like that? Yeah, man. I mean, like I said, on, if, y'all. You look at the, look, if you look at the Nick game, you need an upgrade there. You need like a high percentage one-on-one player. You need a a, a player that a plays above the rim and that can actually finish through contact, man. So yes, yes, saying, oh, we don't want That's Donovan Mitchell, lot. but Donovan Mitchell yeah. can actually do that. He can actually he's an above the rim player. I know he's six right. three, but he's a, he's an above the rim player. And he's first first step, lightning first step, athleticism. You know, defensively, he could play passing lanes. I mean, so okay, okay. Why would we can't get Donovan Mitchell? What's that? Why would we can't get Donovan Mitchell? We, we yeah. pivot. We pivot. Yo, BK, I really don't What's want no more. Tr- I really don't want no small it's, players it, no more, bro. It's it's a real good well, chance we're not listen, getting. John Moran's well, small, three six three, but he plays wait, above the rim. You wait, know what I'm saying? Wait, look, 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 if they're gonna be small, they need to be above the rim. Wait, they need. 
If, we're if they to, small, if, they got to be elite. They got to command a double team or it's not no, going to no, work. No, no, Donovan Mitchell does that. That's what I'm saying. Wait, he does wait, that. Wait, BK, wait. If we're pivoting, Brandon Ingram would be a secondary choice. I agree with Harlem's take that Ingram would give us the size, the scoring, a similar KD skill set. So we can't get Mitchell. You got to go to the second, you know, a guy that can give you. You think the Pelicans will give up Brandon Ingram? You think the Pelicans giving up Brandon Ingram? Give up Brandon Ingram? If they don't make the playoffs, if they don't make the playoffs, they're going to get rid of him. And it's, it's financial stuff because yes, Brendan Ingram will be, be making like 55 yes. mil to start. So they're going to be like, they will be over the luxury and tax. I'm say what, and and they're not the luxury tax team. I'm going to say what Harlow was going to say. You think Brendan Ingram coming here? books, though. Jonas coming off their books, though. Yeah, and they got no centers over there. And they got to play, pay Trey Murphy. And right. they got, what's his name, no backup. So they definitely going over the luxury tax. And I'm, I know Benson family. The New Orleans, uh, Mr. Benson, the New Orleans uh, Saints owner, his wife right now holding the, what's his name? Uh, the, he passed away and she running the both Saints and what's his name, Pelicans. So I know them. Like as a Cowboy fan, I know they, what's his name, never going to go over the luxury tax. And they always cut, uh, what's his name, caught the coast. So what's his name? They never going to play for the luxury tax. So Brandon Ingram right now, unless they're going to move some radical moves and cut CJ McCollum or somebody, Brandon Ingram ain't coming back. I'm just look, me right now. I'm just looking at the players we got because a lot of these players that we want is our teams already. And it's they, all speculation, of course. But yeah, I'm looking well, at, of course, I'm of looking course, at what we got. Course, I'm, well, I'm looking at what we got. And what we got, point. what we got is not good enough. Well, if you want to pivot to Plan C, Dejounte Murray is a guy that has been connected to us, and his contract is very affordable. So if the Nets went that oh, route, yeah. it's probably the safest route. But why does else. it have to be like a high end star? Why we can't get some like B end talent that could suffice our we needs? We have that. Bro. We have yeah, that already, Easy E. We have yeah, that. E. I, think we, got, right I think we got a bunch of that, E. We got yeah. a bunch of players that do the same thing. No, yeah. but we but all we have was a bunch of fucking wings that shoot threes, bro. That that's uh, slow yeah. as fuck. But, but but we didn't have like a, a combination of like guards that could fucking take you off the dribble, like different type of nope. wing threes. Like oh, you gotta trade for those. You gotta trade for those. Yeah. We have no, one player that can go no, one way. The only player that can do that. The only player that can do that on this roster is Ben Simmons, and he's actually hurt. He's the only one that can command an instant double team. That's it. What? Nobody double teams. <laughs> like PK, PK, PK. Nobody double teams a guy that doesn't go to the rim. Why you stop doing that? Why are you, Why are you Yo, stop doing that? Yo, this man jumped up and they never. You won't see. Yo, Hoffa, my brother, what, what, man? What? Say it again. I can't. Y'all no, I mean, Ben Simmons is really the only player on our team that can really like command the instant double team. Yeah, but after a while, BK, you just stand back and like, man, he ain't gonna do nothing. Exactly. <laughs> let's, let's drop. Let's drop the coverage. You're not gonna do nothing. What's up, man? I'm letting him shoot all day. You gotta double. change. You gotta change everything, bro. Like you cannot go. On, when this coach go and look at film, he gonna be like, "Listen, we gotta do a lot of work." Because that's what's gonna happen this summer. He's gonna sit in his fucking house. He's gonna play this whole year. He's gonna play from back and look at these players. Like, wow. You know what Fernando's gonna do? You know, you know what Fernando's gonna do? He's gonna glue a basketball and a Ben Simmons hand and say, "Dunk it." Just dunk the ball all summer. <laughs> He's gonna glue it to his hand. The nigga they like rehabbing. To the nigga rehabbing. Yeah, he's hiding out. Let's, let's, so there ain't let's, no let's, way let's that's happening, happen, bro. There ain't no way he away from. No, I'm just saying. I mean, he didn't make three All Star teams for no reason. Yeah, nah, yeah. I, I respect that. Yeah, like, but like, we gotta see. Ago. Like, how long? Ago we gotta see. We gotta see. Four years ago. Because easy, yeah, easy. We can't get rid of him. Easy. We can't get. We stuck with him. We we stuck with him. So we gotta keep him. No, we gotta. He's expiring contract now. That's what I'm like, saying. Like, for, but like, don't the year, he's going to be there. But but don't put unreal, unrealistic expectations. Jr. Jr. said he's very comfortable with a with a full Nets rebuild. Uh, I'll yeah. not not with Sean Marks on the roster. Well, and will there play. be will there be like friction between him and 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 because we've seen the, the players that Sean well, Marks actually well, likes, and then you look at Fernandez, and I mean there might be friction there. Well, BK, I have a, wait, BK, I have a question for the panel here. Do you guys realistically think that Sean Marks trusts Cam Thomas to be them watch for this team? Because everything that I'm seeing, it's like he's that one guy that's never going to want to trust him. Like, do you guys trust Sean Marks to reward Thomas for what he's done, or do you think he sees Thomas as just an end? Well, what do you do? What do you guys what, think? What do you do? He took us to the playoffs, sir. 
What you call <laughs> thank you. Exactly. What thank you do, you. my nigga? What yeah, you I mean, do? You, thank you. Thank you. No, because I, a lot. Wait, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen, listen, listen to me, John. Right. John. John. I like Cam Thomas. I love Cam Thomas. What he gonna bring to us is gonna be good. But bro, that's not Kyrie Irving. Right. Right. No. Listen. I'm just asking. I, and I love Cam no, Thomas. Johnson, Johnson said he was a young Kyrie. No, I did. I never said. I never said that. Guys, I never said that. Right now, Cam Thompson. Right now, I love Cam Thompson. I think it was you and Harlem that actually said that that he was a young Kyrie Irving, and I just showed him highlights of a young Kyrie Irving, and I'm like, he's not. He's not a young Kyrie Irving. I never said. I defended Thomas turning into a playmaker to evolve his game, but I always find it hard to see that him being a one option because the organization hasn't given him that trust. So that's why I'm always like, I have to keep an even keel with Thomas. I can't just say he's going to be the number one guy because the organization... So, hold on. None of you see Kim Thomas being an all-star? I do. None of you see Kim no. Thomas being an all-star? No. No. How hard is it to be an all-star? At least one. Yeah. At least one. Nope. No, Easy e No, man. He's not an all-star, man. He's not even nowhere close to that, man. He's averaging, e. what, 20, 22? Remember, listen, if you want to make an all-star team for the most part, I mean, you have you gotta to... Win. Your, you got to win. Bradley Beal? He went to like eight seats. He was an all star. Bradley feels better. Before. Offensively, Bradley feels better than Cam Thomas, man. LaMelo Ball was you sure about before. that? The Charlotte BK, Hornets was wait, wait, wait. BK, BK, Bradley Bill's been horrible this season. Man. He only played 15. This games. season, yes. I'm talking about overall. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? I think you cut down on Cam Thomas for no reason, right? Yeah, now. If he if, if if he put the work in, he can make. I'm not gonna say he can't if he put the work in, but it's gonna take him a while. He's not gonna do it next year. It. Look how much he took him to, to get the what's his name. And right now, he's like basketball. He doesn't understand how hard it is. Can we can we can we agree this team was bad this year? Yes. So on a bad team, you're gonna score the most points on a bad team, right? Yeah. That, that, Come on, you. y'all. Come on, y'all. Y'all don't know basketball. <laughs> if you on a bad team and you're the best score, you're gonna have the best points, the best numbers every night. Come on. Okay. Yeah, and that's, this is what I'm trying to but say about easy eat and, and next and, year. Not, what I'm not, saying about not, not the, but the whole thing about what's his name, Kim Thomas. I think I lose a all right, oh, SL, yeah, SL, yeah. Easy E. I know, I know. Listen, I know Sarah Kustak. She loves the hype of. Oh my CD, god, man. she loves. I mean, half of my right. Do you? Do, do, doesn't doesn't Sarah Kustak? No, I be thinking some comedy? people. I be thinking some people just watch highlights, highlights, highlights. You gotta watch the whole game, y'all. Yeah. You gotta watch the game from back to front, if you front take, to back. Yeah, listen, if you take Cam Thomas, all he's not a starter. Other teams. And, and say, I mean, what team can Cam Thomas go to and say right and I like now? Cam Thomas, I'm not kicking my boy back. He's a nice you player. Are going He's gonna to be, be something. Our main guy. There's nowhere around the NBA that no, Cam not the main guy. guy. Maybe the Spurs. Maybe. No, Maybe. The rest easy, of the game, easy, easy. easy. They want him to be the main guy. Easy. But nah, on this team, he, he wants to be the main guy. Forced to be the main guy. They, 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 they want, they want to get a year or something. They want to get a Lambo truck out here. And over no, here got a license. But half a half a half a we we gonna put these crazy motherfuckers to the side. Like we like fuck them for a second. We gonna talk like reasonable people right here, bro. Like him on this team, he has the best offensive talent. So you have to make him a guy. But on like that, a good team, on like a contending team, no, no, what, no. Number what, one, you, what I'm trying to say is listen, listen, listen right. stop and process. Hold on. If you take Cam Thomas off this team and say, and let's say if he wants to leave. Where around the NBA is he going to be the number one option at? Spurs. I'll be waiting. Spurs, the the number one. Uh, no, no, no. We're going to run our offense through you. You're going to be the main guy that's going to take us. Nobody's saying he, he's a superstar. He's, 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 no, you're saying he's, 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 he's an all-star. He's an all-star. He's an all-star. Nick said he better come. What I'm going to tell you guys is that all, where around the NBA, can, he's not going to do the second All-star is 22 players. There's 22, 25 spots. Okay, so Kim Thomas can be that second, third wheel. Where? Where? 
here on this team here. yes but i'm talking about orlando, the orlando has no guards he can go over there and improve them oh, yeah. just like that orlando he can do you want the ball in can put Carroll's hands or you want the ball in cam thomas's hands no i'm not going to make him like the one but but like ain't no ball no, 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 like that same that, thing that, with cam yeah. thomas the narrative the narrative that book cam thomas's ball dominant is fucking bullshit because Kim Thomas plays better when he off the ball. His three-point uh, percentage is way higher when he does catch and shoot. His pick and roll is much better off the screens. So all the plays that he runs and more successful and numbers back it up is when he comes off the ball and and opportunity comes and he creates for, his, for himself later. You got to make a play for him. So Hoffa, what, what do you think about that, man? I don't know. We're gonna see next year. I, I, you know what? I want to run with the same. Ro- I want. We're gonna run with the same roster. You know what? Fuck that shit. Don't trade for nobody. Let's run it back with the same roster and see what we get. No. You see how the, listen to me, I, easy, easy. I Do you see how the league is changing? E? Do you see how the league is changing? How they getting bigger, stronger? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. You yeah. got to watch the fucking league, y'all. Look I how these people are changing. That's what I'm saying. How big is Pop and Carroll? He's like six ten. And what he's playing? Nine. What is he playing? It's like a point forward type shit. Like, come on, y'all look at Rick and Prince Wagner. Yeah, yeah, yeah they go down again. again, but their guards suck. That's that's the reason why. You, hey. you give them what's his name. I'm not talking about, uh-huh. I, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about their size, their athleticism. Yeah, this man. is what I'm talking about right now. We need that. We don't have that, y'all. Yeah. We're going to get washed every night like we do. We good on the first yeah, half. The second half matchups. come, it's yep. done. Yeah, basketball's about matchups. And we just Yo, don't teams, match up. Teams, not, teams know how to play us. They said, listen, we're going to cruise through the first and second half. Yep. And we're going to give it to them the third half. And they yep. ain't going to want to play the fourth half. Exactly. This happened every fucking game, my nigga. Yep. Every okay. game. I don't care if Cam Thompson goes to score 50. They said he can go get 50. Nobody else going to score. Yep. That's how they playing it, bro. Even in that Nick yeah. game, he only had he only had eighteen points in that Nick game, right there, man. He should have had at least thirty. You know, I mean, nobody else was doing anything. He only had eighteen points. And, he had and actually, actually agrees. We need size and athleticism. You know, so we yeah. need another score and alongside Cam Thomas. You saw yeah, what he killed Bridges did. I hope he's bigger. We need some size. Fuck all that. Shit. We need some size. Uh, Stop no. somebody. I'm not disagreeing with that point. If anything, I agree with that point. But I'm just saying, though, like you got, like he, like Cam Thomas, Thomas does have like all star potential, right? No, there. I, like, I, not no, all star. I love like, him. I love him. 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 I love him. I love him. I love Cam Thomas like, over here. Like, I love Cam him. Thomas doesn't really I do love what he right do. He, little kick of heart, bro. He plays. But, but look, look think- at this. Does, Cam Thomas does. Do you ever see Cam Thomas do this? Get that kind of separation of a crossover. Yeah, you know, bro, I mean, this is on, what he, BK, that, that, that's not a fair comparison. No, this is what we need, though. But we're missing this. We're missing this. We don't have any dynamic guards, man. We need a dynamic guard. Athletic. You talking about a star right there, though, BK? That's but a that, star. That's right what there. I'm yeah, saying. That's a, that's Cam bit, Thomas yeah. is not that right now. That's exactly what I'm saying. Now, can, can he? You trying think, to, yes. yes. All right, yes. so 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 half a, so half a BK. So you trying to pivot from like three fucking all time players to a star that quick in one season, bro? Is that no, I'm just telling you. I'm telling you what we were missing. Why we're actually losing. This is the this is this is, this is the reason we don't have this. We don't have this on our squad, man. We don't. And when I, I say we don't agree, have a coach, a lot of teams could say that. If you can't get Cam Thomas a good coach, I think he will. Yeah. He can do that. Like, Cam Thomas is not doing this. I'm sorry. Like if you put Spider on the fucking on the Orlando Magic right now, nigga, they'd be crazy. You see what right I'm saying? Now. Oh, they'd be stupid crazy. Yeah, yeah. that wouldn't be fair. He was on the Magic. Yeah, so like a lot of teams are missing what you're talking about right there, though. BK, but like we got a lot that we gotta deal with right a now. A lot, y'all. It's like it's a lot we gotta deal with, y'all. It's just not changing the coach, y'all. <laughs> Physically, these guys can't take it. Look at the cow getting his ass beat. I think it starts with the coach, man. I don't know. No, yeah, I agree. it starts with the it coach. Starts with the coach was, but that's why I said the Rick coach. Is, the, oh, my bad. The coach can't do nothing with your weight. I just said that before you. What the coach gonna do? If you, it's what the coach gonna do if you're 180 pounds? No, but this is what I said. This is why I'm saying I'm looking from the outside what? in, and me looking from the outside in, this look like a good move. You start, you go. I right, this to me signals a rebuild because you're getting a fresh coach from the beginning, like the minute. That's what I like. End, that's the, what I like. Coach that's what like. I, I, Get your game plan in. Get your yes. game plan in. It does look like a rebuild. Yes. Right, yes. Hoffa, man, Hoffa, Hoffa. Uh, Jr. actually says that. 
Cam Thomas is a three-level scorer, man. So maybe, you know, are you missing something over here, man? Oh, my God. Did I tell you, I break film down, bro? I break film down every fucking quarter, second by second, minute by minute, y'all. Listen to me, bro. He needs a lot of work. We putting too much on his kid's shoulders right now. Let him grow. Let him develop. And stop trying to give him the keys, bro. Sometimes you give a player the keys and they crash into the wall, bro. <laughs> no, I Damn. agree. Even like the top players, like around the hot, NBA, hot, 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 hold about twenty-seven years old to really kind of. Uh, I'm, really I'm sorry, okay. Let, let me jump in uh, for a second, Hoffa. When Kenny was here and we gave keys to D'Angelo Russell, yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. I don't want to disrespect you, bro. I don't want to talk about nobody that's not here no more. I don't want to hear no, about Kenny I'm, Atkins. No, I don't want to hear about no, Kevin he's Durant. Using it as a metaphor. Uh, no, I, I'm BK, just, BK, I'm tired of hearing the same old shit. What are we gonna do now? I don't want to hear what we had, what we traded, what we what we gonna what we got now. This is what I want to talk about. We gotta stop talking about the past and, and what other people did, bro. Better, the league is better. The, the now league is changing. Yeah, the, the league, league is changing, y'all. Look at these yeah. Euro players. They yeah. coming over here and taking over, y'all. Yeah. I was looking at this draft. Look how many seven footers in this draft, and we can't get one of them. Because of okay. dumb decisions. Yeah, so this shit, y'all um, don't understand how aggravating this shit gets sometimes, bro. To be a Nets fan, bro. All right, all right, hold on. Let me, all right, let me ask this question, right? Let me ask this question because, all right, when you say dumb decisions, but like not dumb got, decisions, but you know, not dumb decisions. You you make that decision for James Harden. You in a rock in a hard place though, Hoffa. Yeah, what do you I do what. Do and you I was gonna say you go you go get James Harden, but when you got to trade him, you just so like even come with on, bro. hindsight, we still making the same decision ten times out of ten, though, bro. <sighs> This shit real, bro. No, nah, we're not. 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 Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. You know, team, you know, defense team's gonna key in on him now, right? Huffle, okay, Huffle, Huffle, Huffle. but it's unfair for to load him up like that and be the only score. We're gonna put some. You guys are doing that. We say Alpha and we, I say let's take an easy game. Mikhail ain't that. Schroeder ain't that. We ain't got no other score who can put twenty in demand some type of attention. If we're gonna just load up on Kim Thomas all our way. We're going to have a losing record anyway. And with That's the rookie was... coach, Queen. All right, so, I mean, huh? uh, Hoffa, uh, read this comment over here, man, from Carl R., man. He says, seriously, though, if the new coach can't figure out how to win with Cam Thomas as the main scorer, Mikhail as a ball handler, and second scorer, and Claxton with 18, 12, with four blocks per game, then I guess that's bad on, on the new coach then. Mikhail ain't got no what? handles to handle the ball. Come on, what, 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 what? Mikhail to develop a handle in three Mikhail got a handle? <laughs> I mean, he has a handle, it's just not elite. He can handle the ball. It's no, just he that. cannot. What? He no, no, he can, no. I said he can handle the ball. I didn't say he has a Kyrie handle. He can, yeah, he's a decent ball handler. Decent. That nigga got, he got chicken grease on his hands, bro. You said that shit about his hands when he get it? He act, he, he act, he, that nigga act like it's hot. He, he act like it's hot cold. Popcorn butt on his fucking head. No, he act, he, he act like it's hot cold. He doesn't have the explosiveness like a spider. Or, or, but he can. He has a decent handle. He's a decent ball handler. He's not like Joe Harris or Dorian Finney-Smith or anything like that. He's a decent ball handler. You bumped the fucking spot two times, bro. That ball is bumbling, bro. Bumbling. Bumbling. Gone. Yeah, yeah because I mean, he can't. Because he can't get. He doesn't have the strength to really get past bigger defenders. No, nah, because he sweat grease in his hands, bro. I'm telling you, they come right out. It's bro, easy to steal from him. If, if you watch how he when he get bumped, how that ball is like reacting oh, in his hand. Yeah, bro, he has to work on the strength. See, the, he has yeah, to they, work on the strength. Yeah, but no, did. but he's not used to handling the rock in those kind of situations, bro. He yeah. don't got handled like yeah. that, bro. No, I mean it's decent. I'm not saying it's it's okay. I'm not saying it's great or it's elite. It's okay. You know, he's decent. Just like Cam Johnson is decent. It's not Joe Johnson where he's like a Harlem Globe Trier Harlem Globe type Okay, so he like can that, handle but... the ball then. Who, who's the other guy beside Cam Thomas who can handle the ball on our team? Danny Schroeder? I mean, you Danny got Schroeder is the perennial backup. Perennial yeah, backup. No hit. No hit. Yeah, boy, Lonnie Walker, no hit. Man, he just stay <laughs> hurt. That's my problem with him, though. You can't he's not coming back. Oh, I like you know he's not coming back. You I think he can play. You can take you can take him in that hip. You talking about he want to come back? You got hip problems every other week, bro. 
They're not bringing him back, and he not might not be, he might not even come back, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. He said he won't go to the contend. Man, you gotta get a new hit first. Nigga, this was a rebound team. Actually says we says that Nick Claxton is not averaging 18 because he's not developing his free a free throw game. He can't even initiate contact. I mean, he can't even like get to the free throw line. 18 is a big ass, bro. How much is he averaging right now? That's a, I, 11. I, I, 5, 12 points a game, pretty much. So you put him in a you put him in candidate candidacy for fucking MIP then next year. Yeah, that was that's exactly what it's gonna be. That, right. that's, that's that's pretty the much fucking all pressure all you put in on the fucking coach, points. bro. But that's, that's the pressure you putting on the new coach, though, bro. Well, the coach, Damn, bro. the coach, the new coach has to get that out of him, though, man. I, I mean, there's he has to put him in the situations where he can thrive offensively. I don't know. That's four extra more buckets a game, bro. I, I'm trying. I, I mean, like, I, I'm agreeing with Hoffa. I've been saying this the whole season that he needs to he needs to put on muscle. I mean, that's the least he can do in the five years he's actually been in the NBA. At least get the 230, 235. You cannot, let, you cannot let this players bully you, bro. Because every time – look at that, that game we had with LeBron, what he was doing. You know, this, I understand it's LeBron, but look what he was doing, bro. It's like paperweights, yeah. bro. Move, nigga. Don't get yeah. where I got to go. <laughs> we let LeBron yeah, shoot no defense, away. No resistance, right? No resistance. We let LeBron shoot fadeaway corner threes. What the fuck in the game? <laughs> Come on, bro. Stop it, y'all. And I, I love y'all. I sit here and listen to y'all all the time while I'm at work, but stop it, y'all. Come on, bro. We got a lot of work to do, bro. Yo, it's not me, Hoffa. Listen, Hoffa, Hoffa, it's not me. It's not part me, Part of right? it is because we're playing small ball every time. Like, yeah, and that's another thing, small ball, ball, bro. Come on, bro. We always play small ball to everybody. We got Kim, Kim Johnson at the floor or somebody but, like but, that. Yeah, all right, but Hoffa, Hoffa, but all right, hear me out, though, bro, because you said it yourself, though. This is a bad team, so... We need improve. There's a lot of work to be done. A lot of improvement. So if you get improvements, other players are going to look different with improvements yes. around them, bro. And I think we got to move a lot of our players to the original roles, the roles they was on on this when they were successful on the team. Let's put them back there and try that instead of. But it's hard to do that if you don't have the adequate talent around and them a, to even yeah. slide them right back yeah. into that role. Yeah, and that, yeah, that's the shit right there. I was about to say. Hoffa, Carl, Carl R is saying with the new clothing line that Clax is actually coming out. They don't think they'll move him though. What do you think, man? Without me, if you think a pain there care about a nigga with a closed contract? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, that's not getting his pockets. That clothes shit. <laughs> People say I heard somebody else say that. Well, he got a closed contract. In yeah, yeah. In <laughs> they will ship you off. Yeah. A better deal come across the table. They're gonna say, "Yo, we keep it because we gave a closed deal." They did that to a few players. Uh, listen, yeah. I know these guys, listen, I know these guys are fan favorites, man. But there's a difference between fan favorites and actual real. Yo, players. BK, yeah. I like the players we got, BK. But what we what we trying to accomplish, some of them don't work. Yeah, yeah, I don't like players we got. I don't like Bridges. I don't like Cam Johnson. I don't like Ben Simmons. And once you move them, that's hundred mil of the cap space, and you can do a lot well, with that. That's solving mil. your problems, though, man. All right, I, that, that, that's what I'm saying. What you gonna have, Cam? Like I said, if you take, oh, listen, this is pretty simple, man. With Cam Thomas and, and Claxton, you know, and I know you guys as Nets fans really, really, really love these guys, man. I get it. You know, I mean, they pump like the PR team just be pumping them up so much. But you got to look at the uh, the rest of the NBA, man, and just look at the centers and compare them to Nick Claxton and look at the other guards that are actually coming out and c- compare them to, uh, to, to uh, what's his name? Cam Thomas. Cam Thomas. Yeah. Tim Thomas yeah, can't hold my his brother own, or what, man? I'm, I'm just looking at the other centers and the guards, man. It, it, I do it, the same it, thing. I do yeah. the same thing. I just I compare I compare ourselves to a good team. I'm not gonna say yeah. the best team, but I compare ourselves to the good team. And I'm looking like like who? Like we, we every time we go with a quote, we 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 just it's 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 like a fucking a clown show out there, bro. But what we, would, what what would you consider like a good team? Right the NBA, we're just comparing I, our shit. players to other teams. If I, say, the if, I, if I say the Knicks, everybody gonna cut me out because everybody just hate the Knicks. Like they just, I think, they're, I think they're a better than good team. I think they're a better than good team. So like like a, a average team, bro, like fifteen, like five hundred, or like a little bit above five hundred. Like what you consider, consider like that team? Mm, like I like I think we could beat the Cavs if we. I don't know, bro, because it's just – it's hard, bro, because every time we, we got something good, the next four or five games we lose, bro. Like, we beat them to Atlanta. After we beat Atlanta, what happened? 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was, like I said, we got smoked that. by Memphis, Detroit, Charlotte. They put two bigs and they just smoked us and violated us in the paint. That's what happened. They put two bigs. So I'm, I'm just hoping SL is actually watching this 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 film over here, man, and and you just see. Uh, and yeah, listen yeah. to me, fellas, because I know. Don't get rid of Cam Thompson. You keep him. You don't not get rid of that guy. You keep him, but you got to put shit around him to help yeah. him. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. And you, how many of you try to throw him? I know, I know, easy, but I'm, I know, easy, but if we want to have, if everybody want Cam to be successful, you got to put the right pieces around him. Right. I don't know. Listen, I'm just looking at I'm just looking at Spider right here, man, and I'm just like, <laughs> we don't have this in Cam Thomas. Cam Thomas is not doing this, man. I I, I don't, you know. You Listen, can't... BK, if we if we get Spider to what's his name to pair up with Cam Thomas, that's addition. But we still need more pieces. And with Ben Simmons, what do you think about because... a Spider a Spider uh, uh Cam a Cam Thomas combination, Hoffa? Spider, he plays shooting guard, right? Spider, yeah, yeah. Well, he's a combo guard, pretty much. Well, I mean, but his usage rate is too. high, though, and he's constantly with the ball. He, yeah, he yeah, yeah, the ball. Yeah, yeah. Cam so Thompson, his percentage is going to go down because Donald Mitchell needs the ball. He needs the ball. That's why Garland is suffering right now. He's ball dominant, too. That's why that's yeah, not you, working you can out. Tell when, you can tell. Look how Garland plays when Donald Mitchell not there. He, he be dogging. And that's... And look at how Cam Thomas played with Ben Simmons. He better off the ball. That's why, like, if Donovan Mitchell is here, he's addition. But we need a couple more players alongside that. And we need actually a good coach that put a system in there so they know what they actually do. How long are we going to keep playing, fellas, without a point guard? Like, a, a real point guard? We have, <laughs> I, I, was, I was on a breezy stream earlier. They, they said Dennis Schroeder's the answer. Come oh, on, man. Oh, oh, no, 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 Jonathan was saying that. Jonathan was saying that. Um, that Dennis. <laughs> All right, look, look, here's my thing, though. Right? Nah, maybe he's shooting on Dennis Schroeder, bro. Why? No, Dennis Schroeder can ball, no, but good. he don't push he's the pace. He don't push, no. the pace. he don't push the pace. He don't push the pace. Yeah, he's a half court and he's a he backup. Like a, he's like a playoff player. He's he he's good in the playoffs. He can he, he don't push the pace. He, you know, he only weighs two hundred and sixty four pounds, Hoffa. You know what I'm saying? You know how small he is, man. I mean, he will get eaten a lot. Oh man, I'm telling you. But here's my thing, though, right? Here's my thing. I don't think we necessarily need a point guard. I think we just need ball handlers that know how to control and run an offense. You can get that in a three or a four, bro. Somebody could play a point four or a three. Like, if you just get, like, multiple of those, but, like, not right, but high that, end quality, though. You don't easy, need high easy. Look at, All right, so we're hot, to Hoffa's point, look at the – look at K Cunningham. He's six eight. Imagine him like that's what I'm saying. Six eight, yo, BK, you here you go doing this again. Listen, Orlando playing without point guard. Who else playing without point guard? Then they're playing without point guard. What's the point his name guard playing is Young without Young gets a point guard. Yeah, seven feet point guard, exactly. <laughs> exactly. What's his name? Link, Lakers, who's their point guard? LeBron. Okay, LeBron then. And, and, and yeah, that's what I'm half saying. The, half, half of the league don't have a point guard. If we're going to get Mitchell, no, no, he's still dominant. Dan Schroeder as your starting point Dan guard. Dan Schroeder I mean, is I'm... a backup, man. We no, no, no. Like Dan I said, Brink. And he got paid by a couple of what's his name. He was saying, saying, he was saying start yeah. Dennis Schroeder, man. The guy's on his That's why I don't go on Breeze. Yo, Breeze. Subscribe to my boy channel there, but I'm just saying. I mean, Jeez. damn. I mean, Dennis Dan Schroeder. Schroeder. Yeah, do you see the rest of the NBA? You you, you look at John no, Moran. Schroeder you look at... is legit backup. He's he's like no, no, he no, a to Start him. Start no, Dennis he Schroeder. Can't start. Not with this he team. He would start, that. He would start Dennis Schroeder because he had better option over than Ben. Yeah, because yeah, Ben never ben. plays. A healthy Ben Simmons, Dennis Schroeder is be better than a healthy Ben. You see, you know, Breezy ben said it right there in the chat. Breezy said it right there in the chat. He said it right there in the chat, bro. He's not better. <laughs> you, know, yo, you know, I'm capping, bro. They said it right yo, there. Yo, basketball chat, is about matchups, man. Dennis Schroeder just doesn't match up to a lot of these about, guards it's about in the match NBA, up. man. It's about matchups. Match All right? They. It, yeah, is, I mean, it is about matchup, but it's a matchup nightmare. All right, he. I mean, he. <laughs> come on, man. Niggas, yeah, so what that? happened? If Ben Simmons is that nice, what happened in Philadelphia? Why they constantly got bounced? 
First yeah, or second round. You're not gonna look at. You're not gonna look what at. Happened, uh, hold on, hold on. Last series so, versus Atlanta. You don't. You what don't happened? care that Joel Embiid had 37 turnovers in that series. And one Joel player, Embiid one actually, in LA, he had 37 turnovers. Oh, in the uh, Hawks series, right? And, and yeah. who was scoring? He was who was lifting the entire team up. Who was carrying remember, them? Remember Man. back then. D, you gotta remember Joel too. Embiid. Take Joel Embiid out. What you what you talking about? Oh, oh, remember, Joel Embiid. Right, so, Back, back, back then, and I think that was in 2019 or something like that. They were giving Trey Young all those bullshit calls. He would throw his body into you. You touch him, you know. Um, um he would like, actually get the calls. They're not giving Trey Young the calls now. Joel Embiid had 37 turnovers in the series because of Ben Simmons. Because Ben Simmons was no, constantly at the no, baseline, no, 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 no. scared <laughs> of the ball, no, and was high. constantly just watching no, he and doing nothing. No, He's no, allergic. Even without, even without Ben he Simmons, he holds, the ball. <laughs> he holds the ball too much, man. He gets double teamed. I watched I watch Joel Embiid. He holds the basketball. You know, he could get double teamed. He doesn't release the basketball. It takes him like seven or eight seconds he's, to make the right He's one read. of the best passers. What you talking about? What? I'm talking about back then. The... Been 10. <laughs> I'm talking about back then. Now he's not doing that, but back then he was holding on to the basketball too much. What? God, yeah. Oh my damn, yes. yo, is the, yo, is the East open? He's a six, he's a six ten point guard having to guard a five eleven guard, man. So you 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 go out there, you go try okay. to hold on, hold on, because so he's six ten point guard. How many points he's scoring in that game? He was scared yeah, to go yeah, out there. Really well, man. I mean, he was scared to go out there. He's scared to go out there, young that big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you supposed to pick, you, he's supposed to pick Trey Young up and put him in the basket. No, I, agree to do it. It. I, I listen. I did a vi I did videos on that. Uh, Hoffa, oh. uh, uh, when he had two points against Kyrie, I had to really get on him. I'm like, yo, what? turn the point guard mindset off. I get it. I, I understand his mindset as a point guard. How high is he? How's nah, he BK. That, I don't think that's like, that. BK. No, no, I think I agree. he was I agree. I agree. I agree. He's a mental midget. Even before what's that his name is injured. Hey guys, so maybe, hell yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe Philly fans warned us about it. Game. Yeah, Jonathan, I got on you, man. So PK, PK nobody's double teaming Ben started. Simmons. PK, nobody's double teaming a ghost emoji on the court, man. Thank you. You, you, don't got, man, you can just go back. Yeah, just uh, uh, back, uh, drop uh, back on him. He ain't gonna do nothing. You don't need to double. You can just put one on him and drop back. No, that's it. And if he come, if he, you yo, you say, uh, you say uh, BK, if he coming to paint, BK, I'm telling my center, give him a good one. Yo, he coming, to, he coming to paint, give him a good one. He get about here. If he come to paint, all you gotta do, do is have one of your guys straight over a little bit. But like, it's not like he's taking up a double though. No, I'm telling one of my guys give him a good I mean, pop. We got the highlights over here, man. He don't put no, the. No, BK, we seen it. BK, we seen it. Y'all think he doesn't commit? He he can't command the double team. And no, he can out, command man. a double team. But now teams know he's not gonna do nothing. So they said, don't double him. Just drop back. You taking yeah. the best plays, well, BK, bro. Like don't Richard use Jefferson was plays, actually bro. saying about Cam Thomas, and mm -hmm. I've been saying this the whole year. You can't just be totally a scorer, scorer, scorer. You got to actually pass and throw the defense. Like, no, we he needed him to he, score. He getting his he getting his assists together though. He he getting better with his assists. In, uh, I used to yeah, be yeah, on his yeah, defense. Yeah, yeah. I used to be on his defense. His defense is getting better too, though. His defense yeah, is getting better. Yeah, it is. But like Way I said, better. when I look at when I look at Spider. You know, I'm like, uh, the athleticism that he actually gives, and then I look at Cam Thomas. I mean, but you know, BK was a spider first round. Was it the first round overall pick, right? Yeah, I mean, she, yeah. Cam was like a There's a reason for that. Yeah, Why is he a first reason for that? Because he's athletic, he not, man. He's not, he not a first. He's not a. Oh, I mean, he a first round pick, but he like pick thirteen though. Yeah, like yeah. he can't like. I look it you know, up. Spider is different. Like we can't they. It's two different people. No, but, no, no, that's that's the coach over there. Actually, this I mean, is, he was a, he's a hidden gem in the fucking draft, but I mean. Yeah. Who was the coach over there? Who? In the Cavs? Schneider. Schneider. Yeah, Schneider. Schneider. One of the best Schneider. coaches. No, no, no. Put him on the right no, no, no. Quinn Schneider. Yeah, number 13 overall pick. Yeah, yeah. On the Cavs is J.B. Bickerstaff. Yeah, the the brother. No, I'm talking the growth. I, I was talking about the growth right now. We we stagnated Cam Thomas with our stars and what's his name this year. We benched the guy twice this year. This bald head dude just well, benched him for no reason. Shot selection, um, 
shot selection. I mean, it, it, he's got, he's gotten better with the shot selection and being a, a better passer. BK, Breezy calling you out, BK. More excuses than a bird got feathers. <laughs> <laughs> Man, bro, um, there's nothing wrong. Bro, yo, I ain't there's nothing fight. wrong with, with his shot selection. Everybody was running up to the three-point nah, line and jacking up the three. Go back. look back at our highlights. All we did is was jacking up threes. Not even attacking the paint. How many Who's times that? we were already... Hmm? Who's that? Who's that? You said, you know, who was that, uh, 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 SL? You saying that was just jacking up threes? Bridges. Dean Wiggy. That's, 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 that's all he can threes. do, man. He does. He's not. He, he can't finish over these bigger players. Man. He was getting bitched to, because he was taking mid range shots, and that's what he does. And that's why he got benched. And we got pissed well, off maybe, because we maybe, got. Kevin Arley and what? Jock Vaughn, Jock Vaughn. They they totally Jock Vaughn got fired for that. 50, 50 that man should 53. never have been a coach. Yeah, when I heard Jock Vaughn say he wants to shoot 53s in the game, I said, oh, my God. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's totally <laughs> analytics-driven right there, he, man. He, he they don't like mid-range shots. He, 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 but he guys like Mikhail Z. Nigga said 53 pointers without Steph Curry and Clay. I said, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember yeah, that Boston game? Wait, wait, you guys remember that Boston game? He had nothing written on his board. Guys are standing <laughs> on the court for 10 minutes. They set this team up for failure. They know this team was going to be bad after their superstars left. They played us out. They sold us fake gold. That's not a, nah, that's not fair, bro, because sometimes they come out with a, a blank um, clipboard, bro. They drop the play when they got to be bro. a net. What? I saw plenty of times coaches drop a play right there, right when they uh, sit down. Yeah, because it's like a new Sharpie. <laughs> That's not fit. Yo, niggas try to shit on Jock Vaughn bad, bro. Yo, God, stop, man. bro. Jock Vaughn was right to oh, his soul. He never yeah. right to his soul. <laughs> Jock Vaughn was bad, bro. He was bad. <laughs> right, he, I think he, got I know, bad. Was he was one. bad, but like, I right, certain things, you got to see what he was so. I right, when you get mad when he say, I right, I want to see him. Uh, I want to see the scene Jack of 53s. He's like, yo, what the fuck you talking about? But when you see, like, I. Right, Bro, if you want to, if you want them to play differently, look at their fucking skill set. Oh exactly. my god, my nigga! Yo, and then I see him. We lose a game, and then he said we should have shot more threes. Nigga, what is you talking about? Go get a foul. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> nah, that that's kind of crazy. But like I, at that point though, he probably knew he was checked out. He was checked out. I'm, I'm checked fired, out. Bro. I'm getting fired, bro. I'm getting fired, bro. As, as soon as you know, the was the the to take on a fast break when we were going three on one, he enforced to take threes. And at the beginning of the season, how many times he was flipping, flopping between switch defense and drop back defense oh, and my man goodness. to man defense. Yo, that guys, shit was that shit got me like I was calling for you said back then. Oh, and my I God. understood what Orlando fans was talking about. And I he got fired over there the, the first year too. They, they, he, didn't, he didn't want to play Clowney. I mean, there was space in his no. shoes. I'm like, you got to put Clowney in the game, man. I, I think it was the video I did. I did it on in uh, December. I wish they I wish they would have started Clowney a little bit sooner, yo. A yeah, man. Bit sooner, Hell man. yeah. A little the bit sooner. The same issue yo. that we talk about. Because yeah, like, Every how do you time, see a, like, so. a player doing that in the Long Island Nets and don't say, "Yo, I think we could use yeah. him, yo. Let's pull him yo, up." And instead yo, of just pulling him up, everybody yo, get hurt. Yo, yo. So guys, as soon as they say they were gonna run the offense defense, Simmons, Jock Vaughn's like, I gotta get to Cancun quick. <laughs> He's like, get me out BK, of here. BK, I knew what we was doing, BK, in the beginning of the year, and I heard we we're gonna run the offense through Ben Simmons. I said it's over before it's the over. year. Well, I mean, listen, it's listen, over. come on, come on, come on. You guys act like he BK, was a BK, 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 He's good enough to get you at least to the first round of the play. I'm not saying oh my God, the no. championship piece. BK, that, BK, totally BK, that, that was in 1992, BK. <laughs> We right, in listen. 2024, bro. That was back right, in the Listen, I, all right. I'm going to – listen, until – if it was Zion or any other, like, all-star on this team, I'm going to ride hard for them because, you know, this is – we don't have anybody – We see the, you see the record over here, man. We don't have anybody that's, like, an above-the-rim player really on the team, man. That's we don't really have anything like that. Okay, that's we do – as a matter of fact, we do have it, but, you know, those guys are in the G League. What's their – What's those guys' names? Um, yo, then we got that. What's that other kid? Uh, uh, the guy we, that, that we got that's hurt. Uh, in your point guard, like, uh, what's his name? five guy. I forgot that's his name, junior. man. He's athletic and he plays above the this, rim, but he's in the BK, team. This is, BK, this is what pissed me what's off about. Yo, what's his name? Who are you talking about? 
Don't we got another kid that we drafted, but he got hurt his foot or something? What's his name? He's like uh, Tariq Whitehead. Whitehead. Oh, you talking Tariq Whitehead? I heard he's kind of good. He's just hurt, right? Yeah, not Derek Whitehead. Let me see. Let me. It's another day. I he yeah. he got hurt in uh, what's his name in the G League. And his foot is fixed again, so he was oh, shot he, down he after his foot twenty up. games. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, oh, maybe, after twenty he, games. He, he, he played point guard, right? B, BK, BK, what's his name? When you say high flyers, how many high flyers on the Boston team? I mean, you fuck high flyers on the, what's his name? You got on a Denver team. that can play above the rim. You have Jalen Brown that can play above the Porzingis rim. Porzingis can play above the rim. behind three-point line all day. Yeah, because teams are going to pack the paint up, man. So they, you got to shoot threes to open it up. I mean, no, no team is just going to give up easy layups like that. You know, they're going to really try to protect the paint. And then you need to shoot threes to open the paint up, you know, so uh, to create driving lanes. Yeah, Keon Johnson, that's who it is, yeah. He, he he actually plays okay, okay. above the rim, um. But he's not a scorer, he's on the though. Nets. Keon yeah, he's on the really Nets. Yeah, yeah, he's on the Nets. Not really a scorer though, Keon Johnson. He's more I know, no, but he's a high flyer, man. He, he you know he's athletic. No, I think I'm talking about that kid, uh, the re- Whitehead. Yeah, he's, he's hurt. I don't I heard, know. Right? I gotta see. I, I gotta see if he has, he's six seven. At least he has some size. Yeah, he got some size. He's athletic though. That's the main thing. We need athletes, man. Yeah, look at the rest of the, the league, man. We need athletes. You look at Orlando. Look at Jonathan Isaac. <laughs> Yo, I don't know why we don't try to snatch him up. Now. Isaac starts like nah, building they, his minutes up. They, he's gonna be a problem, Wendell man. Junior. They should get Wendell Carter Jr., man. He'd be a good. I like Wendell Carter Jr. too. Yeah, yeah. but I, I'm just we talking need, about we size. Need athletes, we need man. Size. We need athletes. You gotta be able to. You got. If we want Cam Thompson to cook, we gotta yeah, be able to hold him. He's on the G League. I, I got him right here. He's on the G League, so he's a high fly. He plays above the rim. Again, I don't know if he's ready yet. I mean, I was watching him and how old is he? Um, I, see that shit. It's just, um, I think he's let me see what's his bio at. Hold on, um, he's young though, he's 22. Yeah. Years, no, he's 22 I, this yeah. this season, y'all, I want to start with the young players. Don't bring them these old niggas in here first. Bring these let these young players start the season over this new coach. And I'm, I'm glad that we start right now with a new coach, y'all, instead of starting when the fucking season starts. Start with know, young players know, over vets, though. No, uh, no, nah, nah, you're gonna put a couple of vets in there, but mainly we need to have like uh, uh, a couple of young players. I like um Noah County, bro. I think he got a lot of upside. He just gotta eat. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna take a, it's gonna take two years to really kind of put on the muscle. He should have started already, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, about to, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go pick. I'm gonna go pick Noah County. I'm taking a big mama house. Eat that cornbread and collard greens. That mac, that mac and cheese. Oh, all right, all right. Way, you was on, uh, you was on, you was on Breezy's joint earlier, and you were saying that that uh, Dennis Schroeder is a starting caliber point guard, man. He's a leader. No, no, Biki, you misunderstood us. We said he's a leader. Ben Simmons. Yo, is you know why guy. I don't like? Uh, not I say I don't like him. Anytime you turn down all that money and bet on yourself. Man, you better he supposed to have got that money for the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy? <laughs> Anytime you do that, nigga, you not be a starting point on my team. Uh uh-uh. uh, hell no. Yo, he said it was his agent, bro. Man, fuck that. Sometimes yo, listen to your agent. Yo, you guys, you guys remember when him and Easy, had, easy, you listen to the agent, easy. Nah, that money right, that, eight, do, that eighty, know? that eighty right there waiting for you. I mean, all right, all right. Hear me out, though, Hoffa. Hear me out, though, Hoffa. Right, hear me out, right. That's big money right there, right? But I'm, I'm in LA with that, right? So that shit gonna get taxed out my fucking. Whoa, house, yeah, right? you're right. They gonna bust that shit. So if <laughs> I can get like, if so if I could get like a different like fucking like city state lower fucking um state tax shit. If I could get like a fucking a, a state like a, a, a Houston. Keon Johnson right there. Nigga, that's what you gotta go. That's what you gotta go get your money. Right. And, 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 and I get no and, yo bro and and I get a bit the same contract or even a, a little bit bigger because they didn't offer him the max. They offer him a big contract, but they didn't yeah. offer him the you, complete you remember, extension you, max. No, you max you extension. Him, you remember bro, him, yeah, maybe, they, maybe they should develop Keon Johnson over here, man. They no, should let no, him develop more no, six five. No. Now I'm not saying start. I ain't saying he's a starter. But yeah, in that, um, in that situation that, though, I, I, LA that. is home. I'm taking that money though. I'm taking that money. You taking that money? Yeah, I'm taking that money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you think about what Breezy saying bro. over here? Easy, I'm taking that money. Easy, you crazy? You, you, might you might get hurt, bro. You might get hurt. You gonna get that money? Like yo, we were just sitting there like you know running everything up with LeBron, AD, type shit. Like come on, bro. Man, 
really do. Yeah, I def Jr. I, I definitely concur, man. We could trade Mikael for a tall, versatile, athletic six seven Herb Jones and Trey Murphy. What? I don't know if they give that up though, man. That's no, tough. BK, 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 we need a I think Mikael Mikael fucked it. Those are good players, man. I mean, that's an Mikael fucked his stock up. He fucked his stock Kaysen up. He did that to himself. Wait, 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 BK. How about Case on Wallace, Benedict Mathurin, Cam Whitmore? Let's think a little higher here if you're trading Mikael Bridges. Like Herb Jones is a good player, but but shit, anybody no, good defensively though, man. He's is, good is, any, is anybody gonna want um Cal Bridges now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no, this will take him. This will take, take him. He's not. They listen, 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 listen. Yeah. He's not. He he. I mean, despite the year he actually had, he still averaged twenty point one points a game. Despite the year he actually had, so you put him on a better team. Oh hell yeah, man! He's going. That's well. The teams was look, look, willing to give up like draft picks. It was yeah, even when the, uh, the the Nets first acquired him. I mean, Memphis was willing yes. to give up a lot just to get him. Yeah, they were ready to dump. They ready to dump the bag on him. Yeah, man. Yeah. The whole, yeah. The whole thing about Bridges, the other organization looking at us, they they seeing that we stupid, and they they talking it's, about like we, we don't it? we don't run this. We I think Sean Moss got too greedy with. I would have just took Jalen Green. Um, the 2025 pick BK. No, man. It, man. No, we're so, not in a position, man. Listen, we were dumb hard. enough to get rid of. <laughs> How much we you know that trade was uh, like 100 percent like foolproof, bro? You know? Like that was like yeah. a trade that was really on the tr- on the table, bro. Like no, I, I really want to know, bro. I'll tell you what, this. What trade? Wait, that wait, that, that, that Jalen Green trade, the Houston Rockets trade. I want to know how like how like. Was that really a trade on the table? Like everybody was speculating, bro. It was 24, 26, but and 27 was protected, top 10 protected. But I heard they were trying to do something. I heard they were trying to I heard they were trying to like while he was saying something, I don't remember. I heard they were trying to do something with the picks though. Something like something funny with exactly. the picks. That's why they, didn't do it. they they not giving us 25. It was 24, 26, and 27 top 10 protected. And Jalen Green with uh what's his name? It was Sound Filler. So Top that was the case. Yeah, yeah twenty twenty seven. What the yeah, fuck? Twenty twenty seven. Shit. I like, st- oh, I'm still that, taking it. Okay. I'm still right, taking no, it. No offense, man. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm, I'm looking for anything at this point that can. No, okay, 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 you gotta aim <laughs> the right. <laughs> nigga said anything. Okay. Anything. No, you gotta use the right term, man. I get it with Ben. Like I said, I was disgusted with Ben when like he got hurt initially. And he didn't get the surgery. He waited to the last minute to get the surgery. And I think that was a month and a half ago. And now he's cleared to play. So had he did this when he got hurt, I mean, he could have been back uh, like a month and a half ago to probably help the team get into the play-in. But I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, he didn't, I'm, I'm starting to, like I said before, man, ben, ben, all right, so uh, Hop, you, you're a little older, man. You had a car, right? You fix it up. You keep fixing this thing. And it keeps breaking down on you, and eventually, you know, <laughs> it's like you got you to get a new car. I'm almost there with Ben Simmons, man. I'm you put that, you, there with Ben. You, you put that car on Facebook, Mark, and get you a new one. Exactly. <laughs> but BK, but all right, but BK, here the thing though, right? Because you, you gotta get a back surgery. You just came fresh off another back, a, a back surgery two, already. Two, you gotta chill. So you gotta chill. So, so, so like. You don't want to get another back surgery, bro. You want to see if you yeah. could like take a chance on rehab and see if you could get it through. Like yeah. you're, you just did two already. You fucked up already again, bro. But again. it wasn't like a major. Sur- it was a minor surgery. It was just hey, like no, it wasn't BK, like BK, a back BK, fusion BK, or anything BK. like that. It was just a minor hey, what, like BK, correction BK, there. No, BK, BK. It's multiple back surgeries. Really? I, I, I get that. Nobody up. wants that to get back, surgery. All right, nobody wants to get surgery. I get it. You're assuming he's gonna be healthy, man. There's no guarantee. He should be coming off the bench and trying to play 20 minutes a night. That's and who? How Dennis Schroeder get cooked alive on defense, He's man? A leader. Schroeder's a leader for the team right all now. Right, all right, all right. Again, basketball right is about matchups, man. Oh. He doesn't match up with a lot of these. Imagine, like, Donovan Mitchell. BK, BK, or... BK, Ben doesn't score against any of the matchups on him, especially the size advantage he has. He all right, I showed you the top. Win. He can score, man. He can oh, score. Oh, my gosh. Guys, you want to handle BK, this one, man? Yo, BK, like, BK, like, like when he's on the top 10, and he going down with the bull. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, no, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just being factual. The band, the band, the band, the band, the band, 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 band was like, playing as the boat singer. And and I'm, I'm sticking up for Mikael Bridges. Y'all keep trashing no, Mikael. I, I understand. I, I, I respect you, know, you I'm, but. I'm BK, the guy who died, yo, the guy, the guy who dodged Neon. 
The guy's a Dodge Neon right now. He's not an yeah, SRT, he's bro. He's an 88 Dodge Caravan right now, man. He's I think an I, I, I had one of those. I he's put a three caravan. transmissions in them things, man. <laughs> I put three caravan. caravan. I put three transmissions <laughs> in that thing, man. Three. He said Ben Simmons a caravan. Oh, my God. I had an 88. I had an 88 Dodge Caravan, man. My mother gave me oh, three you gotta transmissions. You got to trade that shit in. You got to trade that, <laughs> that thing in. Yo. At geez. this point. Yeah, I, I'm like I was listen, I was broke, man. So it was like you gotta trade that shit. I was yeah. 21 years old. I was like, I'll take anything, man. It's a ride. And I put like three like miles you know, on that thing. And I've been the Nets fan since we had Dr. J. And I'm like, uh, every year I'm like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> and then when I finally see KD uh, and Kyrie, yeah. I said, Oh yes, oh yes. Give it back to oh god, oh god, oh god again, y'all. Yo, or the Knicks, the Knicks actually took a long time to build their team just to get oh, to yeah. the point. Yeah, They're not gonna just give these guys up, man. I mean, all these teams, the the, the Pelicans, OKC. I mean, they nope. took a while to it took nobody, nobody Orlando, it took them to five the, years no to get to this PK, point, PK, man. To where they are. Ready. Nobody's trading bridges to Nick. That's, that's why I don't like. That's why, you, man. yo, BK. That's why I don't like the Sixers. They stole Doctor J from us. I don't care. Yeah, man. I yeah, hate the Sixers. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, but that was because of Knicks um, to move into yeah, New York got, area. The Knicks, the Knicks fleeced us. Well, we ain't had no assets, so we had to get rid of Doctor J. He was the only thing we had. Chet Holmgren, I don't know, man. Chet Holmgren actually puts on muscle. You know, he's going to be un unstoppable, man. I mean, Chet Holmgren, he's off the table. What? Yeah, Chet Holmgren. Carl Holmgren. Holmgren. Here's a trade that makes us instant contenders. Nobody thinks Chet Holmgren is gettable. Every GM and owner has the, the price. Nah, man. They, they like That's home. like asking for Wimby. You's like, listen, yeah, we'll give you yeah. a whole team for Wimby on. I'm like, they're not. They're not Hell no. That. They said, oh, fuck that. Keep that. We want him. <laughs> Like the off the players, like like Hoffa was saying, the players that are actually coming to the NBA right now. I mean, I think Luca is good. A lot of these players are good. Wait till like the next wave of players are coming in. All they're doing is working on their offense, man. Uh, <laughs> I got. They're I, working I, on their offensive games like six, seven hours a day. It's like a job to these guys. Yo, man. I got a boy that that plays in the Euro League. He told me, bro. He said, Mike, these kids, 14, 15 years old. Yeah. You got to say they play. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. And I'm they play, you. yo. They don't. He, they play team basketball over there. Yeah, they, yo. they ain't no like fucking shit that we be doing. Yo, listen, yep. not to shit on them, bro. Sh shout out to them, but they are not gonna be like a Luca or a fucking Wendy, bro. Those are one on one. No, no, no. Them one on them one on one. That's that's a wave, diamond. The next wave of players are coming in. Is yo, they they offense. Nobody game, is gonna be a Wemby, bro. Yeah, BK, no, I'm talking about Wemby, offensively. I'm talking about in terms of like players off offensive, like minded it, it, players coming in. Wemby, Wemby mother still hurting when she had him. I, I still right don't now. think they're gonna be up to a Luca level, bro. Not even up to a Luca level. Yeah, it's not easy getting these players, man. I mean, like you I see said, Luca numbers you're right talking now, about, bro. Oh, oh, you're talking about Jordan, Jesus market. Christ. They're, Carl, they're, they're you're talking about them. small market teams, which like you know, free agents aren't like clamoring to get over there. So it's not easy to really pry these guys away, man. It's not like the Lakers, where you know, or the Clippers. Even though the Clippers yeah. is trash, but it's still Los Angeles. So, um, you know, they just can't get players like that. So, trying to pry these players away from small market teams is not going to really, you know, it's and hard. Then, you know, you, know, you got to overpay. You gonna have to yeah. overpay. Then you go. You got to. You gonna have to give everything you got to get them. Yeah, oh, yes. That's, that's what a lot of people don't realize. You want to get a star? You got to. You going to have to the, the, the yeah, everything you got. What constantly happens, though, right? Yeah, yeah, constantly the other GM is very smart and logical. He's not doing a stupid trade like that. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> they, right. These are small market teams over here, man. And look, look, OKC has the has the um has the number one seed in the West right now, right? And and they got yeah. fifteen picks. They got fifteen drafts. Yo, E. E B K. Y'all think that the Lakers gonna try to duck tomorrow? The Nuggets? Nah, I don't. Nah, I don't think so. Bro. I, I don't know. Bro. It's don't about think, listen. It's about who they think. Wait, let me see something here. Well, so what's going on with the West over here, man? I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just asking because I know they play. Uh, they play. Um, the Lakers play. Uh, who they just played the other the day? The Pelicans. Oh, they play, they play the, the Pelicans. Pelicans. If they beat the Pelicans, Pelicans, they'll play the Nuggets. Yeah, they'll play the Nuggets, right? Yeah. If they if. If they the if Pelicans beat them, they gotta play the Warriors or the or the Kings. Or the, or the Kings. That's they still a, play, they got they, the play, don't they got the playing game that yeah. actually starts uh it's tomorrow. tomorrow. 
to, to date, to date, technically. I'll, no, I'll, today, tell you, technically. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. I, don't, I think the Nuggets are not as strong as they were a year ago. I think who's Brown and Green, I, they have a lot of young guys. I think if uh, Nicola and Jamal they play at a high level, I think they're beautiful. Like, but they still listen. You still got Aaron Gordon that you got. Yeah. Now he's in a matchup nightmare. Dunk um, he in a dunk spot all day. Yeah, man, he's in a matchup nightmare. He's tough to match. That that's 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 really like the Nuggets like X factor right there. Well, what man. do you think about just... the Temples and Suns? People are saying that the Suns. Are <laughs> gonna beat I think the that's Temples. gonna be a good one. Like, I think that's gonna be a good one. Um, KD go nuclear, then it might be. Yeah, I, I got I got the Suns coming Ooh, out of that wait, one. That's right, he's from KD. I just want to see KD and Edmund go at it. But I you never you. know, though, bro, because, like, I saw a team be co- come up with a defensive scheme that could um stop KD. And, 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 oh, we see Boston do it. Shit, no, I saw no, Boston listen, do Ru- it. Rudy, Rudy Gobert got to a step To a degree, I saw the Denver Nuggets do it. No. Mm-hmm. Rudy, Rudy, well, they, they, all they got to do is just put Aaron Gordon on KD, man. You know? Yeah, they just um, put – yo, yeah. They just drop Aaron Gordon on KD. And, yeah, yo, they ain't got ice on KD. Can't, he can't like, overpower. I, 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 listen, he's available, as a matter of fact, as a toy. Oh. Aaron Gordon, I would overpay. Aaron Gordon, I would, yeah, I would pay him. Yeah, yeah. next year. I, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this: it's a Rudy Gobert legacy game. If he gets eliminated in the first round again, oh, Who? Man, symbols. Rudy, Rudy Gobert, Gobert? And it's on, he's got to step up, man. He's been eliminated every first round. He's not an career. offensive. Guy. He's not an offensive player like that, man. I know, I know, but he's a top defensive player regular season. Yo, it, listen, Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan's stuck in the nineties. This is this this is this is twenty twenty four, man. Offense is more important than defense. No, I'm man. just telling. I'm just telling you, man. Imagine the symbols they can't get out the first round, and they gave the whole future away for Rudy Gobert. I mean, they, I mean, they caught a bad first round matchup. Well, I, mean, I don't like, know. Yeah. They got, they, they're Ain't playing. They no, Nas Reed, who the Nets should have got, is mm. actually playing really, really well for these guys, man. Right. Hey, right. 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 Bag. I'm telling you, man. Just... They turned around and gave Nas Reed that bag. But if like the fucking if like the um the Timberwolves caught like the Pelicans in like the first round, they probably could win that matchup though. Oh yeah, they were, I think they're um, is Cat coming back? He um cleared the play? Yeah, yeah, I think he's coming back. Yeah, he is. He oh is. yeah, shit. But but you see like shit like that though. Like, I'm I'm gonna laugh if Kevin Durant gets bumped. <laughs> <laughs> like, look how close was the fucking West, bro. Like these, yeah, games, like one game apart. Like, one Why would you want to go to the West? I mean, yo, look at the West right now, man. I mean, damn, it's just it's loaded. I mean, the Pelicans are the seventh seed and they won like forty nine games, man. I think That's they saw crazy. the Houston Rockets had a five hundred record, bro. Like the Houston Rockets had a five hundred record. Shit, they the eleven seed, bro. They the fucking eleven seed, bro. Yeah. And the fuck, and, 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 and bro, like the, the and if Shangu didn't get hurt, I mean, they probably, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, man, they probably could give the Warriors or yeah. the Kings a run for their money. He popped, like, he, he popped his Achilles, right? Nah, he told, I nah, think nah, he, he sprained his uh, ankle. He sprained injury. his ankle. Yeah, yeah. I, no, and I, no, I think, it's not a knee or ankle, but he sprained it. And then, oh, like, that yeah, just okay, took okay, him okay. Off. it just good, took good, him good. off. Okay, good, good, good. But but like e- e- even then like e- yo even the the Spurs nigga they got Wemby on their fucking team nigga like Wemby changes defenses bro like that's not an easy and they only won twenty two games yeah that like, look at like they stopped Denver from getting the one seed because they beat them the last game mm-hmm. that nigga went off fourth what quarter you, went crazy what, what do you guys what do you guys think about Laurie Markin as a force the Jazz do you really think he's a key cornerstone do you think Danny Ainge is just waiting for somebody. Man, Danny Ainge, Danny Ainge is a pick monster. He is, yeah, he probably, he's he probably just waiting. Yeah, Danny Ainge is a pick monster. He wants some picks. <laughs> they got Keontae George. I mean, I, I like him. Yeah, Keontae George is a good piece that yeah. they picked up right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But he probably, if anything, he probably, he probably waiting for 2025, to be honest with you. He probably just waiting for 2025. He probably already got his eyes set on somebody already, to be honest. Uh, Yo, so there's another team that's not going to spend much, so... I'm not sure what they're gonna do over there, but they wrapped them Gilbert in Cleveland, so they got a whole bunch of assets over there. That mm-hmm. guy, uh, Henderson, they drafted. I was scouting him. We needed the power forward, and Henderson coming out of the college was one of the best uh, prospects. He went eight with the uh, uh, with the Utah. Then, oh, so no, uh, sure the last the last game, no Clowney actually had 16 points. Man, I was too tired to even cover this game, man. <laughs> um, so 16 points, yeah. Uh, Cam Thomas, 18 points. Uh, Jonathan, you want to explain this? Nah, there was uh, what that, that was a Knicks game, yeah, the, no, the Philly, no, nah, that was a Philly, Philly game. game, Philly game. That was I want Jonathan Philly to explain game. this to me. What happened, man? I mean, how come he didn't get 30 in this game? Let's, let's, nah, let's, 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 Tyrese Maxey had like 26. Let me tell you something, I ain't no Tyrese Maxey's gonna be that. 
Listen, yeah. if the Nets if the Nets do get Mitchell this summer, I think Thomas could be a good catch and shooter, you know, type complimentary piece to Mitchell. Because here's the thing, we can't. That's not what Thomas. he wants, though, man. He wants to be Z guy, man. Same yeah, thing with like with Lonnie he's, Walker. He's, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a show on I, him. I, I, I know, but he's not a point guard yet. He's still learning, and at least Mitchell takes that pressure well, for Thomas. Thomas can be more of a scorer first, and Mitchell could run point a little bit. Yeah, like, could you, imagine you, get, you get another a nice player next to Thomas? How, how good he eat because you can't double him? Yeah, or Ingram. You could put Brandon Ingram with Thomas. How are you going to stop that? I mean, both those guys are going to be. Like, you just got to find the right combination. But Sean Marks has to do something. He can't just keep Thomas. Was dropping 40, 50 a night. And I, didn't, I gotta watch this game. I didn't see this because I yeah, want to do a Cam Thomas thing. But BK, uh, you gotta BK, you gotta start breaking games down, slow it down. I, no, I do, I do, I do, I do. I mean, yeah, yeah. You'll see a whole different game. You be, you'll be frustrated, bro. I am. That's why I've been wait, saying. BK, <laughs> BK, I do, BK. I do break. That's down why I want to do with people. Don't watch the game as it go on. Stop it. Go quarter to quarter. Play for play. Oh, no, I got. I got what I, I was doing that, and then when they, they took the live, they took the stream down. I was oh. actually trying that, and they took. Boy, the stream down. Yeah, I'm telling like, you, if you've you been like that, it's like uh uh-uh, uh. No, 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 yeah, no, no, they no, don't no, like no, that no. shit. Easy E, you gonna be like, oh my fucking god. This Boy, show be, I'm, I'm just, it, bro. You know how better this show would be if YouTube would allow me to actually do that shit, man. Just run the game and just break it down, and they just. <laughs> And a lot of this team, yo, it was effort, effort, effort. Miss a ball, you got to get back. You If you shoot the ball, you miss the ball, you got to get back. You can't stand on the other side of the court and wait. You can't. Especially no. like Tyrese Maxey, man. I mean, Tyrese, I mean, you got to get back and put, get him in the half. You got to get it, back you know, and set your you know defense. What, no, Not you know us. We waiting. Wait, wait, you we know running bad, with them. You know what a bad stat was for the team this year? They had the least amount of charges ever, I think, in their organization. Like they took no charges this season. Defense. We can't. We couldn't stop nobody fast break. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They was charge, killing us. Yeah. So name somebody on the team taking the charge, bro. <laughs> what you gonna put in the cold one when I play take a charge? You crazy? We ain't got no weight on us. Somebody take a charge again, injured, bro. They get Immediately, injured, bro. <laughs> Can you imagine Mikael Bridges taking the charge? That nigga be in the bathroom somewhere. <laughs> Um, nigga, and, uh, and everybody that, 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 that done got injured, yo, got put yo, on the yo, bench, yo, they had to come back yo, from the bench. Guys, out, guys, what, bro? You guys, you guys, if Ben Simmons took a charge, he'd be in China right now. <laughs> that nigga, bro. That's right, BK, man. Like you're a clowny, man. He had 16 points. And, sh- and listen, ZH highlights, man. I-, I love this channel because they don't be trying to say, yo, man, you can't use my content or anything like that, you know? So... <laughs> He doesn't really say much. He lets nah, me know. Kind of, kind of, he kind of, kind of got a lot of upside. Yeah, defense. He got, he got, he got, he got hit the gym. Hit the gym. Nah, just work on his defense. Let's you, go I think his you, you see that dunk he had. I think this is one. Yeah, yeah. See, this is what Claxton doesn't do over here, man. So for all you guys like Harlem saying, "Yo, man, they're not allowing Claxton to shoot." Well, how no, can that shoot kid know what he, he he spread the floor. Yeah. So I've, cool. been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been calling since like I think the end of November, and then when Jacques Vaughn didn't want to make any adjustments, I was like, "Yeah, we got to fire this dude over here, man. How Jacques can you Ron watch was, this?" Man, Jacques and, Vaughn and, was out there. He was out there drinking teleport. That nigga was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was drunk. Listen, to you love Cloudy, man. He doesn't. He knows his role. He doesn't try to do too much. I mean, he has a really, really high basketball IQ, man. Really, really high basketball IQ. He, no, he just kind of developed the defense more. I think once he defense, he had four blocks in one of the games. I know. I'm, Ooh, I'm talking about against top board. competition. Oh. Wait, BK, BK, we got to talk about how he performs against top competition. That's the next level, man. All right? Is he going to be our new power forward? I hope we use him at power I forward. I hope so. I mean, it's an upgrade over forward. Dorian Finney Smith. Yeah. What are we going to do with them guys? What we got? DFS, DFJ. What are we going to do with these you guys? Got Trendon Trendon Wofford, you got Trenton Wofford. You got Trenton Wofford as a like a point forward. Like, they, no, I mean, we got to keep Watford. You, you got to keep Watford. Keep Watford? To do this. Hell yeah. No, no, but they, they're, do... saying, all right, they're saying like the the, 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 the the Nets analysts that he doesn't really have a position in the NBA. He's not like, you know. Who, Watford? Yeah, he's still trying to figure it out. He's a two-way player, though. He can play power forward and point guard. That's very versatile. You want that on your team, though. If you look at the numbers, Watford is numbers genius, man. I don't know. Is he reading it or whatever he I, does? I, I, feel, I feel bad for the Lonnie Walker thing ended, man. I thought he was our third best scorer, man. But you ah, can't, you know, you can't hey, yo, John, you got to give him a new hip. He need to do hip. His legs, bro. That's why the Lakers can keep him. 
Yeah, he, and he'll That's stick why defense. Sinan let him go. Yeah, he'll stick yeah, defense either. Was, he has to pass the ball more. He needs to get like other guys involved. He only averages one point four assists when you, you know you put him in like high usage. BK, how, how, how BK say Sinan, he LA. Sanan and LA both li- loved Lonnie Walker. The problem was his availability. Yeah. We, we love him too, but availability. How many games if we could trash Ben for his availability, we could damn sure trash Lonnie Walker for availability. Yeah, he never he never did. Ooh, yeah, right. yeah but we don't trash him because he's on the veteran minimum. We don't expect much. I like your boy who making he 40 mil. More. No, no, no. Lonnie Walker, hey. I'm going to do a video on him. He wants more. You know, he wants yeah. to be. Look at that. 17, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, does he, the does situation he in Milwaukee is very interesting right now. If they're gonna burn out this year again, they no. will. Like I was saying Giannis. the same thing. <laughs> but but does this list account for the people that could opt in or out, opt out of their contracts? These are people that could be on the market. Yeah, there's a lot of player right options. Uh, yeah, I think it's a lot of player <laughs> options too. Next this year, or next year. So Valanciunas is un- uh, he he's available. Hold on. Yeah, let's look at this. And, and you know what? Listen, like, uh, uh, Hoffa, class. they got they got Claxton as the, the as the uh, ninth best center in the NBA over here, man. Ah, Claxton, do, Claxton do his thing. You got to put him in the right system, B. Yeah, got to yeah. put him. Oh, right. If he would, if he with John Morant, listen to him. imagine him on a on Miss with John Morant. Them yeah. high flyers over there, he gonna eat. Yeah. No, see, my thing is, I want more. I mean, that's a, he's just a one dimensional player. I want to see him do more. All right, so they. So then you have Valanciunas, Valanciunas, uh, Hartenstein. I don't think, I don't think the Knicks might. I'm like, he's only. I, know, I think I think they're gonna bring him back. Yeah, they'll, they'll bring him back. They like him. Kelly Olynyk. So, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> he can no, shoot. No. He can yeah, space the floor. The Raptors. Wait, no, he nah, he's washed up, man. He lost yeah. his step. Leave, leave, his, leave his, his ass over there where he at. Be careful. Uh-uh. Yeah, he, he was signed <laughs> with the Raptors. So he's all, all right. Uh, Mo, Mo Guadna, he's on a, he has a team option. Uh, he ain't going yeah. nowhere. Nah, his brother. He's going to stay with his brother. He yeah, plays his brother. I, I, like, I, like, I like him, though, man. I really, really, really like him. <laughs> I'm telling, if they got, if they gonna pay him, that, that other kid might be up. I it's think. a big man list. It's all big man, bro. I'm yeah, yeah. No Jonathan wanted me to pull up the. Uh, he wanted me to pull up the uh, uh, the free agent centers. We got we got to cover oh, this okay, story okay. over here too in the future, man. Dame unhappy in Milwaukee, man. Not so, shocked. Not shocked at that. He he never wanted to go there in the first place. It was Miami. He wanted to go to Miami. Miami. Andre, Andre, Tommy, what do you think about bringing him over here? He man? fucked up Miami, bro. <laughs> so Andre, BK, uh, Darko... stop it, BK. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nah, BK, BK, okay, listen. In, in, a, in a year from now, Will is gonna have a sixty million dollar option. Nobody 60 wants million. Us that. Sixty million? Jesus Christ, yo! And it's only going up. It's only going up yeah. from yeah. there, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And what he gonna be? Thirty seven years old? Thirty five. Thirty five. Thirty five. Yeah. 35. yeah. Get that money. If, if you, I mean, I would take Dame now if you had a roster. Oh, hell no. Ready you to saw that game? No. championship. You saw that <laughs> game? No, 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 no. Oh, my God. That's out. That's out. I get his contract. That's out. That's out. Oh, no. I get his contract. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's out. You ain't catch a heart attack over there, right? That's out. You good? I, no, I, sure. I, I didn't catch a heart attack. I did three videos telling him about Mark. Hell yeah. He nearly killed me right here. Come on, man. No, 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 no. That's out. almost passed out. Oh, my God. 60 mil going up. No, going you don't up, want bro. that. You yeah, gonna fuck your league, yeah. you gonna fuck your franchise up for a couple of years with that yeah. shit. That was a great thing with James team. Harden, man. He wanted bro. like he wanted five years 252. And Sean Marks wasn't willing to give him that. He only wanted to give him three years 161. That's why really Harden quit on the team. He's like, get out, get me out of here. I'm out of here. Yeah. No, but but I right, if you could have gave Harden high hindsight, he would have took that deal now. Oh, so he wait, fucked wait, up on wait, himself. So wait, it wasn't wait, us. Okay, go back up. That, wait, that go fucked back, up. Go he fucked up, bro. Because he thought he could have got I, something. I don't understand Rory. why people keep forgetting about Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook. We get one of them. We're already working with something. Get rid of yeah. Kim Johnson. Get rid of Bridges. And get rid of Ben Simmons. You put CP or Russell. 
They already know how to make everybody else right, better. Nobody, nah, nobody wants Ben nah, Simmons. And nobody CP wants Sam Johnson right now. I think uh, CP get hurt he, too much now. No, nah, CP is yeah, he, like, he, he broke, but now, he's a veteran bro. minimum guy, though. He getting what's his name? Wife. His contract ain't guaranteed. What you so think about Xavier, Xavier Tillman? Uh, Tough big man who's a new that's a good point. Class that can hit that's jumpers and shooters from three. What do you think? He's a good option. Tillman's Tillman got it? some good potential, man. Well, that's a good point. How, 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 let me see how much is weight because anything right now, but what's for not leaving LA though? Then, let me see. I, I mean, think I, he, I think he loved it over there. Yeah, I would keep Clax if he can get his weight up, like Hoffa was saying. But that's my only issue with Clax, and it's just really his size. But Everybody what's like getting his weight up though? Like, what, what, what do you expect to see him? Like, what, I need what to type see him of body? 40 at least. Well, what yeah, do you be, expect to see? Like because he could put on two forty, but you might not even though. see it like through muscle wait, muscle no. definition. Wait, wait, so like, what yeah. do you ex- like like yeah, two forty? Not going like like make him become Giannis. Like nah, I mean, no. He, he, he could put more resistance up, man. You know, defensively, man. Right yeah, now, BK, he can't, man. But BK, he just... but BK Claxton has a fashion clothing line. He can't exactly you know bulk up. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, Nigga say he got to oh, fit them skinny. Shit. Nigga say he got to fit the skinny jeans. Yes. Fashion Listen, over basketball. Fashion oh, shit. Me worried about fashion over line. basketball. <laughs> Easy stop. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> nah. yo, yo, you crashed the Maybach. Yo, yo, oh my god, yo, son. Guys, Easy, you crashed the Maybach. No, bro. They talking about yo. So this little clothing line he made with Brooklyn, like yeah, this is too important. So you might listen. I mean, he might be. It doesn't seem like they're gonna really use Xavier Tillman, the Boston Celtics. So he's two hundred and forty-five pounds. Ah, he's too small. He's six seven though. Uh, let me see. Let me pull up some highlights of him. Is he? I mean, because just because you're six seven doesn't mean like you know you, you could be horrible. You could play bigger than that. You have like a wingspan. Um, so Listen, six, seven, Mickey, if you're really pounds. shopping for the big, you can get Bobby Portis because Milwaukee Bucks were shopping them around before the trade in line. And what's his name? No, nobody so wanted the, to give the, couples. But, but, nobody but wanted see, to give couples second. But I saw that's the reason why Adrian Griffin got fired because they were shopping Bobby Porter. And then you got fired because he was talking to Yana's brother. He said, What you taking Russ's spot? That's what what happened. No, don't do it. No, that's nasty. No, he didn't. No, no, that's nasty. No, I'm saying we trying to trade Yana's brother. Trying to trade Yana's brother. Like, no, you taking no space, my boy. You wasted he wasted space on the bench. Nigga, come here. Oh shit! Yeah, what about Bismarck Biyombo? Y'all like him? Nah, too old. Nah, nah chill. Chill, he's he's going. Going. Yeah, he ended his career. Keep going. Oh yeah. You basically have the something? same problem that you have with Claxon. No, nah, didn't he faint though in the OK with OKC? Was he at? He's, 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 he's like with OKC. Okay. How much he weighs? He should sad. be with Memphis now. The other player I'm lo- really oh, looking fact, at fact, monitoring. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think about the what's his name? The Bridges, the other Bridges, uh, Miles Bridges in yeah. Oh, yeah. Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. He tough. Uh, that dude over there, he's a free agent too. Which I, I think Carl like like says, give me Bo Bo with Cam Thomas for the Nets for 2024 20, 20, 20. I mean, what we want to win, here, man. <laughs> we got to win, man. Carl, man, we got to win. We want to win. Nigga drop a stolen car today. Bull Bull is nasty, bro. I'm talking about the product. Niggas yeah. driving stolen cars now. Bull Bull? Yeah, that, 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 that's nasty. Nah, that's bull, really, really bull, nasty. Bull Bull's going to ride the bench bench. Now, now, now you desperate now. Now you showing your ass out now. Like you, you, you just, really you just trying to get bro. anybody that come out the pot. No, but, but like it, it's looking nasty yo, now, bro. Like it, yo, it, it don't even look K-Ron like the same wrote, kind of vision yo. now, bro. Like what, what, yo, what are you doing? You so yo, far away from the vision. Look what J.K. Ron wrote about class. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my! He painted his nails yo, but, and wear purses. But Jr. But Jr. You gotta realize this. You gotta realize this, bro. You, look, you really gotta realize this, right? A lot of players in the league do that. Some of your favorite players in the league are doing that. Ant Man painted his nails. You gonna disrespect Ant Man? Oh, that's some weird shit, man. I'm sorry. Uh, man. Hey, listen, that's listen, what these I, young people do, bro. Feminine, weird. You know, like painting your nails. <laughs> I, I don't crazy. know. Crazy. That's what <laughs> they doing, bro. They yo, crazy. Yo, yo, I could see Ben Simmons and Claxton in like the prequel to movie Zoolander. Hey, <laughs> the movie Zoolander. Damn, hey, Zoolander. I don't know if they have the cap space yeah. to sign Wiseman. Uh, hey, um, he hey, needs hey, some hey. work. I was watching him. I was like, uh, I don't know. He hey, needs some work. 
real now, quick. Wiseman is, uh, that's tap a into project, that interview man. that Michael Porter Jr. did with that. Um, uh, oh with, yeah, I heard with, it. With, with I heard Rose. it. Yeah, yeah you bro. right, Easy. Yeah, you right. You they right. Talk about easy. some shit right there, bro. They yeah, you right, right Easy. There. You got to see that shit, BK. That What's that that? Might, that might explain a few of the things you see going on. Yes, bro, so, and if, when he said it, I'm like, this nigga really said that. Yeah, what and I, th- I don't think he was supposed to say that out loud. So, like, like he, he went, really said that. So, so BK, um, Michael Porter Jr. went on this um girl called Lana Rhodes um podcast. If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, like. He went on her podcast and they were talking about how certain NBA players like certain type of fetishes, like certain things don't get them off no more. So they go Word. to extreme. And he said, yeah, I know so- certain NBA players that's like into transgenders. And yeah, men. Said, he, said he seen them. And, and <laughs> oh, like, yeah, I mean, that, well, that's, yeah, I mean, that's what any people with money, you know, like. You start just banging a whole bunch of chicks, you get weird, like you know, sexual deviations, man. That's that has to do. have a lot yeah, of Yeah, but at that point, of- like I think he went off the rail. Like there was some yeah. fetishes, and then he went to like transgenders and like yeah, men. players. I said, Oh, they ain't gonna like him. I'm like, oh, so like, oh, oh shit. So see, like see what happens when we become a players league. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. So no, like easy. I said, yo, that nigga be out the league in a couple of years. I know why. <laughs> Yo, yo, so so like like so like your brother betting on games going crazy and you just going on podcasts and just dropping shit, bro. Like y'all going crazy over there, bro. No lie, bro. Y'all going really crazy over there, bro. I don't think you were supposed to say that, bro. Like I'm telling you, he, he wasn't supposed to like take those shots and like sit out the game with the eye injury. I don't think you were supposed to say that, bro. I don't think he was supposed to say that, bro. Yeah, yo, I was listening to it. I said, oh shit, yo, I said this guy crazy. That happens, listen, that happens to a lot of rich people, man. They just they get they get all these women. You get bored. And you just get weird sexual deviations, man. When you stop just Yo, you know, they, they said that shit about the White House for a lot. Yeah, yeah, long time. yeah, yeah. And look at look at it now, bro. Look at it now, bro. Yeah, look for at a it long now. time they were saying that shit about the White House. I was like, nigga said that shit a good minute ago. Uh, Yo, I, said, I remember Yo. nigga said. Yo, bro, I remember niggas said that shit about Dwight Howard when he was playing in Houston. I was like, yo, Yeah, bro. I said, yo, I had I heard a player say they see a nigga with a pink with a pink dress on. I said, oh no. <laughs> yeah, man. Bro, just... Now we here now, right? Now we now here. we here. Now they, they was getting painted out in the open. I said, man. Now, now the nigga is going on interviews like, yo, what I do in my personal time is my personal time. Stay on my business. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Okay, I hear you now, bro. That's a whole. Well, listen, thing listen. He's a public figure, about. man. He's a public figure, and and people are gonna just be into him like that. That that's the 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 risk you take, man. When you're a public figure, man. <laughs> nah, <laughs> he sounds just, support they sus they sus behavior. Nah, <laughs> he, just, he just got lucky. The temperature change on certain topics, bro. I th- is this it right over here? Answering what, what was the what was the woman's show? What was the name? Uh, Lana that- Rhodes. Lana Rose. That, 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 that's like, uh, that, 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 that. Lana Rose. Who the fuck? That, 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 if you if you know if you know you know it. Hoffa, yeah, if so. you know, yeah, that's you know. oh yeah 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 yeah. What the hell you doing podcast? Man, she you be bugging, bro. They be yo, crashing yo, out. Yo, listen. What are you doing the podcast with her for? I mean, to be all right. If you all right, Hoffa, If you know, like she been around the NBA herself as well. This might too. be it, right? Yeah. Here. So, you know. <laughs> Well, I don't want to get banned from you. Yeah, don't don't play that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, don't BK, don't play it, BK. Don't I'm play it. Don't yeah, yeah, you might, yeah. Be, you got, might have to be careful, bro. You might. Have yeah, to be don't careful, don't even play that shit right now, BK. There's not a lot of power right now, man. The uh, I'll, I'll, all I, I know about this, the, like, I don't mess clip. with them tra- like transgenders. I don't mess with them. They violent, man. They are violent. Yo, yo it easy. He said that shit like comfortable, like he, you know, he not lying. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah I, I, I seen it. I said, well, oh, they are uh, violent. I can go look at the, they, they wait, can go BK, look at wait, videos BK, of them. I don't mess, I don't say nothing BK, to them, wait, man. Wait, I walk out, hey, wait, they are BK. violent. Wait, BK, here's a good tip. What do you guys think about Jalen Green being a baby daddy at 22, man? What do you guys think about that? Shit, let me tell you oh. something. You see Dre on the sideline and she wink at your eye, you're gonna wink too, oh, nigga. I mean, listen, you gotta look at the upbringing of these guys. Dre, a bad, yo, he's that lion? Dre, a bad old as hell. Yeah, hey, she's, yeah, that's a Dre, fact. If Dre a wave at you, nigga, you better go say hi. Yeah, I, but I, I don't know about, you know, like doing all but you, do know, you like, yo, but did you hear what Gribbles Arena them said about her? Oh, man, Spicy P. <laughs> what they say? What they say? What is they that? Say, spicy, let's say spicy, let's just say spicy P said he was driving and he looked at the rear view mirror <laughs> and they wasn't sitting back there. 
I but, said I, Joe. But you got, but I right, look, look, like, I right, so certain people don't come up from the game like us. Oh, certain people don't respect certain rules of the game like us. So, like, all right, you had your turn, bro. I don't know nothing about that. I'm here now, bro. Like, all right, I could find out about the information later, or like, you could have kind of put me on. Or I can hear the stories, bro. Like, at the end of the day, I wanted my piece so bad, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I just wanted it so bad, bro. I needed, it. I needed it, bro. I need to see what I was hitting for, bro. So, and then I ended up here, bro. Yes, I ended up here. I was the one that ended up here, bro. Yes. It kills yo. It's a lot of them, yo. A lot of them older, older ladies got twenty-four year old men. I, yo, you can't hit on them. Fuck it. Do what you do. <laughs> yo, listen, man. All they see, all they see, they just got land one for good. They just got land one for good, so they're gonna keep. Right, this is, this is gonna be the next. This is gonna be the next video right here. Best NBA trade targets in the in the twenty. I'm gonna try right. to do this tomorrow. So yeah. um, hold on before we get off, BK. So on that report, so we are gonna keep Cam Thomas, Claxton. This is what they saying: Claxton, Mikael Bridges, well, and Cam. Jones. They were the they were saying that that Cam that's what's on the team currently. They didn't say like, oh, okay, it's definitive that we you know that the Nets are going to keep these guys. I mean that was yeah, just yeah, that was just on who, who's on the roster now, and it just looks like that's just the uh, uh, the fight. Found I could say like say foundation. No, just yeah, them yeah. Mm. But who knows, man? I mean, if we can upgrade the roster, I mean, Yaka Perto, um, I would definitely take him. He's an upgrade. That mean I they mean, get rid of DFS, bro. He a good piece. You can get something back for him, bro. That's yeah, good. You got no week. Clowny. No Clowny's emerged. You could put him in that position, man, mm-hmm. and. They should, I, yeah, get, I, they should try to get Bruce Brown back, man. He was a really good player this team. I, I think you need like superstars in place for like Bruce Brown, man. That take yeah. now he takes a lot of they they'll take a lot of attention off of Bruce. He did a lot. Brown, he did a lot for the Nuggets. He did yeah, a lot for the Nuggets. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Joker and shots. like Murray, they take a lot of attention off of Bruce Brown, man. So. I heard that they wanted to keep him, but you know he wanted his money. You can't All hate right. the man. Yeah, right. 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 with my money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got some small. They got listen. These athletes got a small window that really mm-hmm. kind of. Bread, man. Yeah, injuries play a big part. You know how injuries go, BK. You got to get that money. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, any... But why would you not play Bruce Brown, though? Yeah, why would you not play him, though? What, I don't who, know. He was, no, I'm talking about... Yeah. Uh, even when he was on the Nuggets. What, what, when he, but when he was on the Nets, though, bro, like, why, no, why would no, you not wait, play wait, him? No, they let him go. Why? I can't you know, believe they let Bruce wait, Brown go. You know what happened? Bruce Brown was speaking up and he didn't like that when it was the boys... Said, yo, we're gonna be Daniel Tyson Alford. Oh, yeah, he like, said, he said, like Brown talking yeah. crazy. Yeah. That, 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 that's not good that. enough to not pay him, bro. That's not good enough. So, wait, what was he saying? I'm not hearing that bullshit. Bro. Yeah, I remember, I remember that shit, though. I remember that one. I remember that, but that, that ain't good enough, bro. All because <laughs> uh, <laughs> at the end of the season, we about to go into the playoffs. Yeah, we, yeah, we know you, you how see that Kenny's face. Yo, no, I remember Kenny's face. You don't remember Kenny's face when he said that shit. But I'm not gonna lie. what? <laughs> like with hindsight now, bro, though, bro. Like, I right, at that point, though, like KD knew what it like it was coming. Like, yo, they about to go crazy on me, bro. Like, what the fuck you talking like that for, bro? Now they gonna go extra crazy on me, bro. They they not looking at you, bro. The the, the game plan gonna be for me, my nigga. The yeah, they don't care nothing about you. Like, that's what they come on. That's what they did too. But that's not good enough reason not to sign up, bro. The fuck, he good, bro. What? Yeah, when he was on our team, he was one of the best rebounding fucking guards. Right. Nigga, they put him at the fourth spot, and he was getting like eleven rebounds on game, bro. Come on, bro. He he was in the contention. He he was one of our Josh Hart's, bro. He was re- one of our guards. I was rebounding on a crazy level that you thought he was a fucking guard, like a a, a, a forward or a fucking center, bro. He, yeah, he was, no, come on, he was, son. He was a Army Knights this team. Play, he played hard. That nigga played hard. And when we signed Patty, there was After that, that's not game, they told him to uh, follow guard. So, so, Bruce Brown, he, he was still like, all right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm out. All, right, all right, all right, let me, all right, let me so wrap this up. It's 4 10 in the morning, man. Woo. Damn, 4 10 already? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to wrap man. this up. Are right, we going to do, I don't know, maybe, maybe, all right, you know what? I think tomorrow, what's the day technically, we'll do this this story here. Uh, okay. Next free agency 2024. Who's staying? Who's going? This will be a good show right here. I think it's going to really like, yeah, I'll be up for that one. There's a lot of serious, this, this is going to be a lot of arguing on this one, man. Oh, yeah. Get your ears ready. Uh, yeah. Char- uh, charge yeah. your phones up. <laughs> charge Lord. your phones up. John, get ready, John, because you know you're going to be going at it with everybody. 
Yeah, yeah. It's always fun. And Harlem to too. And Harlem. Yeah, was, oh, oh what boy Harlem? Oh, I think Harlem. I think Harlem out. Of, um, out he there, he's out, yeah, he's, he's in Florida. Or something yeah, he's like that. My boy in the yeah, sun right now. His feet in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. It's too hot well, down there, we got, man. Well, at least we got some sun too. So we not in the fucking. Yo, it was nice today, bro. It was nice today. And all just right, gonna keep on getting nice and out. Yo, y'all have a good night though, fellas. All, all right, man. Y'all. All right, so, all right, y'all. Peace. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, drop a like on the video. Uh, definitely um subscribe if you're not subscribed and share the video. When you share the universe, certainly shares back with you. Peace.